said. We do. No, we don't. It's, Why your breast smell like Doritos or something? Because I was eating some Fritos or something. I was eating some turtles. What is that? Yeah. Chips. I don't know what that is. Look at that in the trash. Yeah, what are we holding on to that for? Throw that away. We need this. Who is we? Let's Throw that on. away. Exactly. Hey, Marcus. Kill him. Yeah. Hey y'all, guys say what's up, guys say, how are y'all on this Saturday evening? This one. This Saturday? This Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday, you have church tomorrow. I do that. I will slap, <laughs> I will slap you. She's not going to church tomorrow. Nah. Like you didn't know what the, you got church, church. You didn't know what the, oh, no, we don't, we didn't have church last night. Surprising. Man, no surprise. We didn't have church last night. Yeah, we have church all the time. Lie. Okay. Only when we on break, we don't have church. Lie. <laughs> nah. I don't know who that is. They say, hey, girl. Hey, guys, say, hey, how are you? They were just talking to me. <laughs> okay, yeah, y'all talking to her. Okay. Give me um, those eggs, honey. Hey, Pastor Raymond, how are you guys? Hey, what's up, Will? Look, girl, your girl. Hold on. Hold on. There she goes. I didn't even get the eggs. Hey, Will. I miss you. I miss you. Hey, Will. Hey, Will. You can't add him over here. Is that how you did it? What? Hey, Will. Will, I need you to be on top tomorrow. I don't even know what it feel like to sing with you no more. It's been so long. You just saw what he went to tonight. He wasn't singing. He was singing. He was there. His voice was sitting my bed. He was singing. His voice was sitting my bed. Hey, friend. It's your tea. You've been asking me something. Nah, that ain't perfect for your life. God damn. I'm just gonna wash my hair and do it. Oh, I just did that. I'm gonna wash my hair, y'all. Shampoo and everything. Let it air dry. You don't, you don't blow dry your hair unless you want to be in your weeds. Well, some people do, but I mean, nah, nah, not bundles, baby. I don't know where my sister. Hey, is. Pastor Cole, how are you guys, <coughs> Dave? Listen, I got to fix this to where it's, I my feel sister, like I'm not bending down. My sister ordered me some bundles from somewhere. I need to the see. Sister, my, your aunt, your aunt Keisha. Hi, aunt Keisha. I need to see where she ordered my bundles from so I can tell y'all to get y'all bundles from me. I got loose waves in my hair, y'all. You was talking. You just gonna stop talking in mid sentence? I don't remember what I was saying. But you I was talking about your bundles. I got loose waves, 16 inch, 16, 14, and 12. <laughs> I was gonna get 18. Oh, he said his voice is back now. He but, can sing. Come on, Will. Come on, songstress. Come on. What's up, Derek? Look at your cousin. The one I always kissing on you and oh. asking you for some candy. Okay. <laughs> Why are you asking me for candy? <laughs> but anywho, I'm gonna tell y'all to get y'all whatever she tell me. I'm gonna say tell y'all get y'all bundles from her. Cause they they good bundles. If you take care of them, me on the other hand, I didn't take care of mine. So that's why I gotta wash them. And I'm going to leave these here for like another one or two months. And then I'm going to get my hair done from Kayla. Y'all should book with her. She does my ponytails. Well, not the long one. She did my short ponytail and my bun with the bangs in the front. I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all didn't see them. Y'all Facebook. I don't be out here. So, but y'all should definitely book with her. She go, she, I'm like her little mannequin or whatever. So, every style she want to try, she going to do it on me. Because... Why not? Free hairstyles. Yeah. Don't say that. It's, well, with me. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm, the, everybody I'm not everybody. I'm not everybody. Not everybody. I'm don't the guinea pig. Everybody don't get free hairstyles. I'm the guinea pig. And after a while, when she get on her feet, I got to start paying too. So. Okay, you done now? Can you pick up your phone? Let me wipe this off. Okay. So, guys, they... Uh, Where is your camera? Oh, it's over there. I need you to put it on this side. It's on this side. It look weird. Because my pencil is, is is charging up there. You have to... Your pencil can charge later? Anyway, hey, Miss Felicia. How are you guys today? How are you? Sorry, I had to pull this. You don't know her. 
Hey, how are you guys? Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all been? Hello, Miss Felicia. She came to the church uh, a few months back. That don't mean I don't remember her. You she know, came to one of the musicals. You know, I don't remember nobody. For somebody to have a young mind, they don't remember nothing, y'all. They don't remember anything. It says it's at a hundred percent, mama. Well, my pencil. Yes. Don't be, don't be watching my chart. Don't be watching my. Don't watch that. You don't can pay turn attention. It the other way, my mama said. She, hey. look, hold on. Let me turn this camera around because somebody's in their feelings, and this is my life. It look weird. You, you getting the wrong side. Tell your mama we said hey. Will. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I keep getting them mixed up. Let me turn this camera around. I keep getting his mama and everybody mama mixed up. They all look alike. No, you're gonna say, mm mm. That's not gonna work because all my comments gonna be upside down. That's not gonna work. Well, put it straight up. Then it's gonna change my my thing. Maybe if you swipe down. Uh uh, because the way it started out. Oh, the way it's locked now. Yes, because it started out like this. Look at you. This is why you don't start it out like that, mama. This is mine. We gotta do better. Bless her heart. Y'all all look alike. It's not my fault. <laughs> hey, how are you? What's like, up? I don't remember. Kenna, 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 Kenna. He work with me. I do that every time I see him. That don't change because we don't hear him. That's, it's still me. I got to remember. Oh. <laughs> I got to remember. Because when I, I don't know. I just, when I see your mama, y'all look alike. Since so I know y'all, but all y'all look alike. Then... I don't know. I be tripping. I be getting. I I remember names. That's I remember remember names. Cause faces. I be getting y'all mixed up. Y'all look like. We cooking today, y'all. We well, not cooking. We not cooking. We not cooking. Um, That's why I didn't want to move it. Cause it's already set up in a certain type of thing, and uh, it won't mess with. I mean, we can make all the faces we want to be No, it's still gonna, it's, it records that. It, they just can't see it now. It, they'll record, it'll record in a minute. They don't want to be looking up in your face, though. Look at that. 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 Look at my mama cooking. Well, she not I'm cooking. not cooking. She's preparing a feast. <laughs> so I'm making tuna fish. That's what we. That's what I'm doing. I'm just making tuna. I wanted some tuna fish today, so I'm making. And tuna we've been wanting tuna fish. It's like when we wanted it, she don't want to make it. But when it's benefiting her, she gonna make it. Ooh, where that relish you said? It's in the pantry. Girl, what you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I was on the phone, y'all. If y'all heard. Me. Oh boy! Joyce Brown. Joyce? That's first lady. That's how you pronounce her name? Yes. Joyce? Oh. She's first lady. Or you could say Lady Brown or First Lady. I didn't know she was a Okay, I'm telling you, so don't call her by her first name. No, okay, okay. I'm confused now. So Hey, how are you guys day? Who's she first lady of? A church? I'm asking what church. I don't know the name of her church. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 potato we, salad. We, I'm on my way. No, we're not. No, we're not doing potato salad. We, we don't have we, potatoes. Yeah, we don't have potatoes. Listen, we doing tuna fish tonight. We don't have potatoes. We don't have that tonight. We got tuna fish, and that's what we. That's what I wanted. I don't know if this logo is in y'all face on y'all side, but it's all in my face on this Why side. Why you want to move it? Maybe we just she, had that conversation. We're not moving it. it. Maybe she had it straight up. We would have this. Anyway, tonight we're doing tuna fish. So I already have my eggs on. Um, and I, I'm i praying it's you enough because I don't think I got food. a whole lot of cans. Unless you look in the pantry and see if it's some more in the pantry. I don't know why you got the water on. It has a better flavor. Trust me. I've been doing this for years. I've been doing this for years. So anyway, how is y'all day being... Um, <laughs> Ain't no telling will. Um, how how he was he just he was asking what you was talking about. We waiting on these eggs. Oh, hold on, y'all. She said she just be talking will. You know how she is. I don't see no uh no more. I was just trying to see. 
you know, I ain't gonna fix no tuna fish if it's just one can. We gonna have to have most. So my hair is drying. So this is what this process is. It's drying because I shampooed it earlier. She got bundles too, y'all. So know this I mean. is the drying process we doing right now. Oh my God. Y'all see what we got doing? And see, people think that my family is just like, everybody just know they all crazy. I don't love them. Every last one of them. Not me. I'm a normal one. I'm the normal one. Anywho. Hey. Yes. I got a question. It's not for your life. Give me a second. Let me Talk show y'all. Okay. Well, I'm going to ask my fire if you want it to be. Let me show y'all. You can't. Let me show y'all my bundles you before I before I start um curling them and everything. Huh? Let me show y'all my bundles. Okay, I gotta zoom in on a person. Y'all, look at me. These are bundles. Three bundles. This is before. Oh, um, this before I washed it the first time and everything. I had to wash it because I want to take care of it. And I'm not good with talking to people because y'all not talking back to me. They can't talk. They can only come in, Carla. They can't talk back to me. I know. You. That's what I'm saying. Wait, but you're going to have to, when people come on there, you say, guys, they, even if you don't know who they Did are. Did she just get out here or what she was out Yeah, no, she just don't. Because it's going to show way. So you'll guys know that they're today. new. I just had daddy. Hello, Miss Shayla Williams. Church tomorrow. I can't wait to sing for real, for real. Child. Yes, come oh. on. Oh God, my God. Is able to do. He's gonna get on my nerves. Just what he said. He, would he do didn't say it. start now. He said wait till tomorrow. Anyway, okay, hold on a minute. So, this is a clamp that I got from Miss Tracy Green with Voluptuous Woman of Pearl. Please check her out. She has, she went live early. I think she's already deleted the live from today. But. <laughs> She's doing a lot right now, but check her out. She, um, this is a, her clamp that I got from her, um, Chanel or whatnot. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to cut them up anyway. So this is a her clamp I got from her. Check her out. She does. She got everything from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. You, she said you miss Felicia that you're doing good. Um, check her out. You would love to get some great things from her. I don't have on no earrings from her. Nothing else. Got the my sock shirt on. There you go, class of '99. Um, hey Ashley, I see you went to the grass. You could have, you could have messaged me or something. That's uh, what's face friend? That's land friend. Are you ready for a question? He said we can start it now. You know they don't let you um on in on nobody's live anymore. They took Why? that off. They took that off. They said it was costing them money. It's not Instagram, so. <laughs> you ready for a question? I would Hold take this from her, y'all, but I don't use her clamps. But everything else that she get from Miss Tracy, best believe. <laughs> Kyle got it on. And if y'all, I just posted a picture of her with her purse. Um, that she, that was a birthday gift from Miss from Miss Tracy. So that's what I that came a, from. Uh, Gucci purse from her. Gucci. And I got a Louis Vuitton purse yeah. that um somebody at church yeah. bought for me from her. Don't do that. Don't do that. And it's real, y'all. Thank you. It's very real. You don't have to prove nothing to nobody. I don't keep telling you that. I'm telling you, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody. I don't, you don't have to do that. Don't do that. That ain't got nothing. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Don't even worry about that kind of stuff. You move on. But anyway, y'all check her out. She's with Voluptuous Woman of Pearl. She has great products that you would need. She has pictures on her page. If you go to Tracy Green, you'll see her pictures. You go on there and tell her what you're looking for, what color, what you like, or whatever. She has it all. Everything that you need. From I'm telling you, from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, she got it. Also check to the sole of your feet. My son has a question, but give me, I'm going to let him come to y'all and ask this question no, in just a second. No, I'm not asking him. Oh, you're not asking him? No, I'm not going to put them on your Jesus live. I mean, he knows about the Bible. But it's your about Jesus the Bible. Lives. I mean, we talk about everything. <laughs> we talk about everything on here. They talk about sexual intercourse, too. Is, is, is having a, a vibrator a sin? Uh, that's been asked before. Go ahead, ask the question. Okay, I'm gonna let him ask. I'm not asking. That okay, question. so let me do give it in a different context because he don't want to come to the to the yeah. camera and, and ask his yeah. question. His question is: Is having sex toys a sin? Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, because the way you said it was kind of. <laughs> 
I would love to know your daddy's answer. We had this conversation before. Um, if you're married, the bedroom is undefiled. Okay, so you saying what? So what do you what? Why would you say? Well, how, how could this is a part of the tough questions, how, how y'all. So class, come on, class, join in. How would you classify as a, as, a, as a sin? Like even I don't even even, I, even my hand. You saying even my? I mean, as a male perspective, you you know you 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 masturbate differently than the women. Uh-huh, you don't use right, toys. Right. So you saying my hand is a, a sin? Is that what you saying? You saying my hand is a form of sin? Uh, Miss Felicia, no, it's next Saturday. Today, I think they just went to make sure everything was. I think they just had like a um, I don't know, it wasn't a parade. I think the parade, the I know the parade is next Saturday, but the um, other stuff so the kids can start school Monday, they did everything else to prepare for the kids to go not Monday, Tuesday, because the kids are preparing to go back to school. They um, went up there to do get everything prepared and just had like a block party that's what it was a block party um and because they had that block party they just trying to get everybody they was getting volunteers they had a lot of people come and join um have volunteers and stuff to get ready for the kids to start school on tuesday but the parade is next saturday okay so yeah that wasn't today there was a block i know it was a lot going on up there because they that's what they do but anyway the question was is uh my son is asking is it a sin to have sex toys? That's his, that's his question. Um, and so what would you explain? I'm sorry, I got cut off by what you... <laughs> you saying, you saying my, my hand is a form of sin? No, I didn't say that. I'm not saying it, that. Is it? Is it? I wouldn't say that because I have not... Man, we had this question before. This has come up before. It has. <laughs> I want to slap this. I'm trying to remember how was it, why did we discuss it because, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. What did your daddy say? What did he say? He said, yeah. It is. Yeah. I think we did. He said, he said it's a form of, uh, it's a form of fornication. True. What's That's fornication? true. And you're not something you don't even know. I mean, oh, she's 16. I know she's saying nothing. <laughs> Yeah, they gonna always think you a little girl. They gonna always think you're like five. Wild morning, wild morning. Dude, you gonna get him to the for Valentine's Day? I said, that's my brother. He talking about some soap. What? Bro, don't worry about it. Where are you in your country? Where was he from? Africa. Oh, Africa. Oh, no. See, they do that kind of stuff. No, man, they do that kind of stuff. So, that kind of stuff to them, Will said it is. It is. I think. I'm trying to remember because I remember us talking about this and I don't remember My it coming said up. That it is a sin. It is a sin. But I'm I'm just saying when if it's just you oh! I owe the RS twelve hundred dollars. Oh, his mama short, right? Yes, she worked with us. The one who came to the church oh. and spoke? Yeah, she spoke for the seven up program. Yeah. You caught up now? I, I thought she was the tall. The that was walking. No, I was laughing. I was not laughing. I was not laughing at him being a transsexual. I don't have a problem. I'm not against those people. I, I was laughing he because he looked like Elsa. He had his Who white hair oh, off of Frozen. He, he had he his white hair and it was braided up in the back. Like and then he had his blue eyeshadow on. That's why I was laughing. I was like, he kind of looked like Elsa and I laughed. She laughed out loud. He didn't know I was laughing at him. Man, I was walking. Right by us. I'm going to have to whoop him if he said something. Anywho, I was laughing because he looked like Elsa. I was not laughing because he's a, a transsexual. My son said he don't think that it's a sin. Why don't you think it's a sin? It's my hand. It's my because hand. it's your hand. It's my hand. You didn't say hand. You said that ain't your I'm talking about question. me. I'm talking about me as, as, as um, I don't use sex toys. I'm not saying you. I'm not asking disgusting. personally, <laughs> do you use it? I would never I'm ask hilarious. you that. Do know that I would never ask you none of that. I understand, but I don't. <laughs> I, I'm saying I don't. I don't it's my hand. I don't think it's my well, I, I, I. It's a part of my body. It is. It is. It is a part of your body. But I, my perspective, way that I looked at it, as when she said that she don't know about it. If you're married, but if you're single, then it is a sin because oh you God. are pleasuring yourself and you're not supposed to have sex outside of marriage. That's what Dad said. That's exactly the yeah. word that he said. The exact words that Dad we said. We did. She said that she don't. Yeah, she don't know about it if you're married. That's the way I said because if you're saying the bedroom is undefiled uh, when you're married, then you're open to anything that y'all are. Um, 
that y'all, um, how do I want to say it? I don't know. I've already seen it, seen it now. Masturbation is sex. So if you're not married, it is sin. Hey, lady, how are you guys day? So my son is asking the question. I'm saying my son. I got two of them. Oh, okay. Listen. <laughs> I didn't say which one and you not in the camera. Oh, my God. They have to know you to know which which son I'm talking about. Well, pretty sure they know by y'all. I mean, by your, I mean but he ain't never showed his face over here. So. No face, no case. So anyway, the question was, came up, was asking, is it a sin to use sex toys? And what? is it a sin to use sex toys? So my thing was, I didn't, I wasn't looking at the side that y'all looking at. I told you when we talk about stuff, y'all make me see it another way. And I remember this conversation coming up before. But um, my thing is, if you marry folks, the bedroom is undefiled, so whatever you decide to do. But when it's starting to be, like you said, using yourself or otherwise, and you're single, I think that's where. What if you're single and ready to mingle? Is it still? If you're single and ready to mingle, did you get married? Leave the M word out of it. it. Oh, you don't want to talk about the M word. Okay. I'm talking about the M -word. Okay. We don't want to talk about the M word. I'm going to make this tuna fish while we're still discussing this, though. Because I'm, I'm hungry now. I am so you're hungry. saying just as long as you marry? What if you. I mean, because. What if you're in other countries and stuff like that, you know, they get married. I know like other cultures are different, yeah. Yeah, so what does that count for? Does it, does it, does it still apply? Other countries are different, and look I don't. Like their cultures it, and look stuff. Like age on it in the Bible, like you gotta be grown or, guess, or what? Know that yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't think it's it's it's. I think from beginning to end, because if you're saying, because they do to a lot of cultures do teach. Some cultures do teach. Um, I think it was off of here. That's why I washed yeah. it off. Like it was like yeah, it was seasoned or something. <laughs> like it was seasoned or something. Um, but some countries do teach their Did you just walk into the wall? No, I jumped into the wall. It hurt though. But some countries teach them at a young age on how to prepare to be married or how to prepare to be um to get yourself ready for marriage. an adult age, you know. They like start them out so young. Um, Cause you know, like they, the Hispanics, they teach them at um, four and five years old on how to take care of the house. They teach them so young. So there's a lot of cultures that just teach it differently. Not saying that that's right, but I'm just saying that that's, that's the way. In. That's the way they've been taught. That's that's their culture. That's the way they. But to us, that's what I was trying. To, that's what I was asking. Is her. it nasty? I didn't. I didn't have none of that. Maybe I ain't none of my cake. I know you didn't. I did. I did. So, I did yeah, did. so that was the question. Did I hope I didn't lose I people did. because of that question. Y'all not supposed to leave because we have tough, tough questions, though. <laughs> Look, I ain't right there. I ain't that bad. That was all me. Y'all not supposed to leave because of that. We're supposed to fight through that. Because people do have it. I mean, with somebody that's young, they have questions like that that they may not know and they, you know, we're getting close. Especially if you're trying to do the right thing or if their friends or something have um questions about that same thing yeah you want to know so hey hey first lady how are you i am listen i'm glad you popped on here just now let me go ahead and tell y'all this i mean we're gonna go back to i'm gonna let them know what we was just talking what we was just discussing listen next saturday next saturday two o'clock p.m if y'all not doing anything if you're not doing anything next saturday at two o'clock p.m please beat me at the New Fremont Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. The address is 2219 Lamont Avenue, Dallas, Texas, 75216, where the great, amazing, wonderful pastor is, Bishop Dwight Collins. Please come out to the All First Lady 7-Up program. I promise you, you will not want to miss out on this 7-Up program. This 7-Up program has been awesome. Each year we do it. This is the second time we've done it for the um, First Ladies. Last year, I hadn't, it was six, other speakers besides myself i wasn't trying to speak i was trying to get somebody else to do it but yeah that didn't work out but all six of the first ladies that spoke last year for the seven up program was amazing it was absolutely amazing so i was just like they were just popping up one after another and they were just knocking them out i said oh they just don't did me like this this is you know i gave y'all a history about that the other day but don't miss out on this seven up program i promise you this is going to be epic, and you don't want to miss that. Be like, don't miss Jesus, you know. Let me tell y'all about stuff. Don't miss him. But I'll say that to say this. 
um lady sneed that is on here she will be one of the speakers she was a speaker last year and i was just like i just gonna do this and i didn't hear none of them last year like all six ladies that spoke last year i never heard them speak before but god gave me them to you know to to have them to come and speak for this it's a all i mean every first lady every speaker is a first lady of, of a church different denominations um come from different backgrounds but we come under one roof and we gonna just have some great church so don't miss out it is a seven dollar donation if you don't have the seven dollars don't worry about it come hear the word of god come hear from these beautiful ladies god say how are you yes ma'am yes exactly what you just said it's gonna be a blessed time don't miss out on this seven i promise y'all y'all see me posting the flight i've been posting on the god's day page been posting on my page been posting on new freeman chapel page i've been trying to tag everybody in it because i don't want nobody to miss out and be like i didn't even know yeah you know because i'm telling you i've been i've been uh posting this for what about a month now been trying to at least for about the past month um y'all i've been trying to make this tuna fish i ain't made it yet um but i don't want y'all to miss out on this great great program um they this is a seven is you know what seven up seven up um they have seven different topics they're gonna speak for seven minutes if they go over to the seven minutes then who cares it's seven up um seven minutes speaking on seven different topics seven different first ladies and they're gonna come with the gust i'm telling you they're gonna bring it all so don't miss out on that it starts at two o'clock p.m i've been putting an end time on it but i've learned over the past year you put an end time on it, it don't end like the last first, yeah. the last first oh, seven up for all first ladies seven up program. I just mix all that up. The last one that we had, um, we went, it was after five o'clock because <laughs> it was so phenomenal. Like those, those speakers spoke, I'm telling you, all the first ladies. So trying to remember this off the top of my head. You want to tell, I got it on my telephone. Hold on a minute. I'm going to tell y'all who it is. Listen, if you have not seen this flyer, it is on uh, on here, and you are more than welcome to share it. And, oh, they're so sweet. Um, you are more than welcome to share it, and you're more than welcome. Hey, lady, how are you guys day? You are more than welcome to share it and to let other people see. And um, so we have... I'm, I'm really gonna fix, fix this soda fish in a minute, like for real, for real. I'm gonna fix it in just a second. Yeah. So it, the all ladies for all first ladies seven. I'm gonna say all ladies, all first ladies seven up program. Um, this is a part of our unity, um, which is our women's ministry. It's a part of our um, one of our fundraisers for the church, and it's on Saturday, January 11, 2020, at two o'clock p.m. Hey, um, our one of our speakers I've already told you about, which is Lady Teresa Sneed with the Family of Faith Christian Center Church, and her husband is Pastor James Sneed with Clean Up. Uh, uh hold on, Kyle, not right now, not right now, because I'm trying to get, I'm trying to do this. Um, she's gonna be speaking on Clean Up. Then we have Lady Marisa Rieger with the Sunrise Family Church, Pastor uh, Kenneth Rieger. She's gonna be speaking on Straighten Up. We have later, uh, later, Lady Ter Latrenda Floyd with Heaven's Gate Missionary Baptist Church, Pastor Melvin Floyd on Grow Up. We have later Ramika Johnson from the Greater New Mount Horb Church, Pastor uh, Roosevelt Johnson on Pray Up. We have later Rosalind Rayford with the Four Winds. Sorry, I'm gonna try to make it out. It comes off loud. Listen. Uh, Lady uh, Rosalind Rayford with the Four Winds Bible Church, Pastor Calvin Rayford on cover up. We have Lady Deborah Porter with um, Unlimited Praise, Kingdom Empowerment Church, Apostle Cedric Porter. She's going to be speaking on Climb Up. And we have Lady um, Kathy Campbell with the Greater Hope Church of God in Christ, Pastor Robert Campbell. She's going to be speaking on Speak Up. Now, last year, these things have, these um, young ladies have spoke. Last year, we had a uh, Lady Teresa Sneed from the Family of Faith Church. Um, we had um, Lady Ramika. I'm sorry, Lady Rosalyn. Bless you, Rosalyn Rayford from the Four Winds Bible Church. And we had Lady um, Kathy Campbell with the Greater Hope Church of God in Christ. Those young ladies spoke last year, so we added the other ladies. We're trying to switch it up a little bit um, this time around. But I promise you, you do not want to miss out on this program. So clear your calendar, put it on your calendar, and let people. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. You've got some of your time. Two o'clock. You want to come um, to this and have an, a, a great time. I'm telling you, Jesus. Okay. And then at um, if you can't come but you still want to donate, we do have a cash app that you can donate to. 
um, the new Freeman Chapel MBC, which is the cash app. We also have Zelle. And um, I have a cash app, but you can send it to the church cash app. I'd rather that. <laughs> um, but it is $7. Don't you? Like I said, if you don't have the 7 that's fine. Just come on out. Uh, come be a witness, and we'll go live. But it's nothing like being in the building. It's nothing like actually hearing these first ladies um, firsthand. I'm telling you. Um, so please come out to this. This is next Saturday at 2 o'clock p.m. Um, go on, get on up early, get your hair done, clean your hair, whatever you do on Saturdays, do it early so you can come on out and be a part of this great event. It's going to be phenomenal, okay? So don't miss out on that. I said that because um, I want, you know, that's our next big event that we have coming up. Of course, we got some more stuff coming up, but that's the next big thing that we have. So if you see it circling around on Facebook with any of these first ladies, that's okay. Go If they, your first lady is not speaking, that's fine. Still go on there and um, share the page, I mean, share the uh, flyer so that other people can see what's going on and they can come and support this great program. Um, Y'all already know if you have anything that needs to be shared or, hey, Lynn, guys, they, um, you have anything that needs to be shared, you need to be um, support, you need support from, please send it to me, tag me in and share it with me. Let me know what you got going on so that I can share it with, uh, with uh, other people so they can come and support you with what you're doing. Um, yeah. Um, so you can come and get the same, we can give support to you as well. So, um, but don't just share the things that you have that share uh, other people's business and stuff like that. So those that are, those that have already liked the God's Day page, I want to thank you for that. For those that have already shared it, you follow it, you comment, you um, add whatever you do to it, your reviews, I greatly appreciate it. Continue to do that. Keep Continue to share the page. Continue to um, like the page. Um, get your family and friends to like the page as well. That way we can um, try to get it, you know, the word out on what's going on with God's Day. I got some more stuff that I'm working on I keep telling y'all about. Um, I'm almost done posting all the new Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church pictures and stuff. I'm so proud of me. Almost. Almost. It took me about six months. It took me about half a, yeah, about six, seven months to post all them pictures. And and the, la the, the date that I'm on is on this past... Um, Tuesday night, I'll watch me service. Uh, I'm not doing that. I would not be a part of that foolishness. I don't share foolishness. Tianda, glad that you, you joined us, uh, Good Sugar. Listen. Good Sugar. <laughs> let me, listen. We're doing, listen, I know y'all, okay, so I got a lot. Let me try to, I'm trying, and I'm, I haven't started fixing this tuna fish yet. This is the point. I was just coming on here talking to y'all because I was fixing this tuna fish and I haven't got around to doing this tuna right. fish yet. Um, but <laughs> I did not know that your daughter is one of, she does paparazzi as well. Um, but now that I know I can share her information too, cause you, I didn't even know. Um, and I'm sorry I missed your live the other day, but I was on the phone with my sister. And when I seen that, I said, Lord, I just don't miss everything. Hey lady, how are you guys say? But listen, listen. Okay. So first of all, um, yeah, we fixing to them. I'm fixing to the fish. So that's first. And I haven't oh. started it at all. Uh, Keontae, I told you about all that screaming. Nobody want to keep hearing that. Do you hear me? Boy. I don't care what they doing. You doing all that screaming. That's unnecessary. Boy. But anyway. <laughs> Where they shoot me from? He playing the game, so. <laughs> but anyway, so I did not know that she was a paparazzi consultant. Now that I know that, I will short, start sharing her information and start watching her live as well and um, getting the support for her as well. Tiana Smith, y'all, is a great paparazzi consultant. She is with the Star Diva Bling. Please check her out. Great woman, beautiful young lady. Love her spirit, love everything that she has fun on her live. Uh, playing games, doing giveaways. She has a VIP page. Check her out. Y'all see me sharing her page. I know y'all seen me sharing her page. I know y'all heard about me talking about her page. Go and follow her. What is that? This? No, what he, they know. Is, oh, what they yeah, there? Listen, okay. Go follow. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Anytime. Um, go and follow her page, share her page, support her uh, her business and what she's doing. She's doing great things. I told you, I know a lot of paparazzi consultants, but everybody is not doing every, you know. So, 
those that are doing good things, I will support and follow and share their information and uh, put the word out about them if they're looking for great people that are doing great things. Um, some people are just afraid to speak up and talk and, you know, be in the forefront of stuff, but you can't, you can't, can't go nowhere and you, you scared to speak up and talk. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's not here, the, neither, I ain't gonna worry about it. So anyway, uh, please check her out, Tionda Smith with the Star Diva Bling. Check out her lives. Check out what she does. She does great giveaways. She does great things. Check her out. Also, um, her daughter, CC Smith. Am I right? CC Bling, I think. I'm tripping. I got my, my telephone sitting right here. I say telephone because it's the older lady at the church I used to go to. She used to say that. <laughs> she used to say that all the time. She used to be like, Garrett, can you come look at my telephone? I said, yes, ma'am. I will look at your telephone. And, you know, we say cell phones. Let me see your phone. She said telephone. Okay. So that's why I got that from, from her. We just say phone. I heard somebody say, this guy at work said the other day, he told me, yeah, we got camera phones. Don't nobody say camera phones no more. I ain't heard that. And so when he said that, I said, mm, you just going to stay back there, huh? Come on up. Come on up to, with, with, with the rest of us. Come on. But anyway, <laughs> check out, um, I'm going to tell y'all, because I want to make sure I'm giving it. Thank you. It's C Bling, y'all. I said CC. It's C Bling. Check her page out, too. I found out about this this morning or last night. I can't remember which one. But I shared her information. I posted it. And I'm letting everybody know what she does. Um, a beautiful young lady, which is Tianta's daughter. She's also a great paparazzi consultant. Um, so check her out, too. Um, and support somebody, these young ladies that are doing good stuff. Check them out, too. Um, and get support. Give them support. Um, as I said, stated before, if you're doing something and you want somebody to support you, return that favor and support somebody else. Everybody can't make all the money. In that case, if everybody have all the money, can't nobody else support them because you got it all. Nobody else can help you out because you got it all. So support somebody else that's doing it. Also, I have another friend. She just went live last night. Uh, I want to break to Morgan with um, Heavenly Anointed Jews for $5. She's another paparazzi consultant. She just started uh, going back live last night. I think she, you know, some situations or whatever. Don't know. But um, she started back last night. So let's support her as well with her paparazzi uh, business. Um, also, I have a friend of mine I've been telling y'all about. We went to school together, Emoriam Smith, or Emoriam Smith. I sure don't want to hear it. And I got to start making on this tuna fish so I can eat. I'm gonna make it. I keep saying it, but I haven't started making it. But E. Miriam Smith, she has quite a few businesses that y'all don't want to miss out. She's doing some, she doing some stuff, and I'm proud of her. Um, another South Pole yeah. clip, Golden Bear. Um, but anyway, <laughs> y'all know how I am about Sop. Look, this shirt, 10 years old. Don't judge it. <laughs> this was a 10-year reunion shirt from 10 years ago. Don't judge it. Anyway, um... Let me find because I just I re, I shared her information again on my page, um, but I do have it here. It is Cheryl's. Okay, I'm gonna tell you in just a second. Trying to keep her focused and straight. I know you're doing a good job because if you got her to do it and she went live and she's got a great personality, I love that. When somebody have great personality and they're putting their product out there, it's really good and for her to have the type of. Um, sponsor or motivator that she has as in her mom hey lady how are you guys day as in, in you that's you know you already doing a great job with your business so to pass that on to her and she has that same type of feel and doing the same great thing that you're doing it's gonna be uh successful it's gonna it's gonna be great because if she you know they're a trend of you they what you put into them it comes out on the in, in them you know so which is really good and i didn't even know and i was like i didn't even know she didn't even tell me her daughter was doing i don't know how long she's been doing it but from what i see she's doing a great job so that's really a great thing a wonderful thing yeah i'm trying to let this hair dry so i can flat earn it for church in the morning so if it's kind of got this wet look or it's kind of seemed like it's trying to rise it's because I have to wait for it. Hey, how are you guys day? I'm waiting on it to dry so I can, you know, by morning we can flat iron it and make it all together. So pray for it, okay? Put it in your prayers. Put this hair in your prayers because this is a struggle to do today, okay? So anyway, um, let me tell y'all about somebody else. Um, Cheryl's Kick. Is that what it is? Girl, I've been saying something else. Wait a minute. Am I right? Let me make sure. I know these. I know my glasses work. Hold on, y'all. 
pickles. I'm making sure I'm because I thought it was Cheryl's Kool-Aid pickles, and she got Cheryl's Kick A pickles. I ain't judging. I just didn't know. I, I thought I was saying it, but hey, that ain't my business. So she has um she does Kool-Aid pickles because that's what I we know them as, and it's Cheryl's S H R E L S Kick A pickles. I think it might don't. Anyway, <laughs> she has different flavors, which is Johnny Apple Kick, the Black and Cherry, the Watery Melon Mouth, the Pee Wee Power, the Cold Blue, the Tropical Knockout, the Key Lime Luscious, the All Cherry, the All Out Cherry, and the Scooter Boodle Mango. And she has seasonings to put on there: Slap Your Mama Purple and the Puffy Berry. And they are one for two dollars, two for three fifty, three for five fifty, and you want a gallon is eighteen dollars. Listen, this is Cheryl's Kick Aid pickles, and that's Whitty Miriam Smith that I went to school with. Um, she was at a tax service business today the up until seven o'clock. I got this. Gone over there with all your hollering and screaming because my game ain't started yet. That's why I'm asking. Okay, I got it. I'm I'm fixing this Kool Aid. I mean, it's Kool Aid. You got me. They got me saying Kool Aid. This uh, tuna fish in just a second. So also she has the um, the duck off. Remember, I've been telling y'all about the duck off. Now I can actually read it. Oh, you talking about the pickles, Brown? Hey, Brown, what's up? What's up? The pickles. She said uh, one for two dollars, two for three fifty, three for five fifty, and a gallon is eighteen dollars. And she cuts them different from uh, I, than I normally see, and she has all these different flavors. You can contact her. Um, and Miriam Smith with Cheryl's Kick A Pickles. Let me see. She had a number on her, and she do. It's 214-309-8799. Um, and that is the name of it because she has another different flyer. Um, also, she does the, the duck off I've been telling y'all about. Um, it's an adult and kid bounce house with boxing gloves, six uh, basketball goals, campers, cotton candy machine, Reynolds at the duck out. Cheryl's Kick A Pickles, and she has all the flavors on her as well, which ones I just told y'all about. But she does, um, but again, her number is 214-309-8799. And she does the duck off, which is the adult kid and bounce house. Um, and she has a place where you can go and just relax for a couple of days that she has already set up. And also she has the uh, Kool-Aid pickles. And her her work, her um, name of it is the uh, Kick Aid Pickles. Um, so check her out. That's one of my uh, schoolmates I went to school with. Me and her cousin was, um, was best friends since we was little itty bitty. One of her cousins was. Um, so check her out. She's a great young lady that's doing marvelous things as well. Y'all know I'm going to invite y'all out to the um, New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. Tomorrow morning we will be doing Sunday school at 9, 30 a.m. Sunday morning worship starts at 11 o'clock a.m. We just have one service tomorrow and it's going to be phenomenal. I always go with the expectation that God is going to move and he's going to do some great things um on tomorrow and in, in that service so i would love for you, each and every one of you to come out you know we will go live but it, and also it's nothing like being in the building but i'm always going to invite y'all out to church um and let y'all know what we have going on and what we're doing so right now um sunday morning service at 11 o'clock a.m and then we this coming up saturday next saturday matter of fact is our um is our uh, All First Lady Seven Up program that will start at 2 o'clock p.m. We would love to see you. We would love to have you. We would love for you to come and be a part of this great, phenomenal program. Hear these great seven first ladies speak on some wonderful topics um, that you don't want to miss out on. I've posted the flyer. Um, so share the flyer, all that good kind of stuff. Again, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for coming, for um, liking my page, sharing it, coming giving reviews thank you brown for putting reviews out there excuse me uh great reviews um about what we're trying to do and then y'all let me know what y'all would love to see on that page i would like to present that and put that out there try to keep it updated as much as possible trying to i'm big on birthdays so if you you know and may roll around do know it's going to be like it's going to be like may 1st through the 31st it's going to be just nothing but okay you will know if you've never seen me celebrate my birthday, you will already know how I do. Um, for those that do know, God bless you. <laughs> but um, I do want to thank y'all to 
uh, I do want to thank y'all for stepping up and uh, sharing my page, liking it. Because some people, they say they'll like it and they never do. Or they say they're going to support you and they never do. Don't worry about those. Keep going on. You Sometimes you have strangers and people you don't talk to all the time support you more than people that are closest to you. Um, yeah, but it's after mine. So do know I know when your birthday is and it's after mine. Um, so please, please continue to like the information that's um, being posted on the God's Day page. Have your family and friends go and like their page. That's why I asked, like, is it okay for me to post on y'all page? Just put this little thing on here to see if everybody can go and um, like it um, and get people to support their page. And not just support me um, in that page, but this is an all-purpose page. So I try to put everybody's information, whatever... Um, um, they're doing whatever they want their uh, businesses their event they have they have going on I try to support that as much as I can by sharing hey lady how are you guys day Merry New Year Merry New Year Merry New Year to everybody that I didn't say Merry New Year too don't judge me you can say Merry you don't have to be happy happy and Merry same thing so I say Merry New Year and, and Happy Christmas is that okay <laughs> don't judge me but anyway, um, open up this uh, then I tell you, tell under what I'm, what I'm, um, how I try to, I do it around here. But um, thank y'all so much for liking the page and sharing it, and also going through and um, liking other people's page and their um, information as well to get um, support, give them support as well, and let other people see what they're doing and passing on that love. I told y'all this year we need to be more supportive of other people's um, business and careers, whatever they're doing, their their accolades, whatever they're doing. We're going to try it. We, we want to push that and make sure that everybody um, gets support um, other than what we normally do. Step outside the box. I've done something. I told y'all once I get the answer to what I've stepped out the box from, um, I'm going to let y'all know whether it's a yay or nay. If it's a nay, I got a backup plan for it. If it's a yay, then definitely going to let y'all know what it is. Uh, but I don't want to speak prematurely. I told you try to move in silence because once you start telling people what you're doing, they try to go and do it before you. I told y'all a long time ago, Miss Tally Rogers, y'all know that, that young lady there can definitely sign her face off. But um, she she said a while back, you call me? Oh, uh, what was that? That was you talking. Was that you or your daddy? Um, um, but she said a long time ago she she was telling people that she thought was really in her corner, they had her back, um, or whatever. She thought that they were. Uh, she was telling them what her plans was and what she wanted to do and all this kind of stuff. And she started telling them. So she said, "I realized the same folks that I told my plans to." They were trying to do it before me, or they were trying to uh, stop me from doing it, or they were doing it too. So she said, I started moving in silence. She said, and I had to try to wiggle her out of those things. And I said, yeah, you figure those things out. Because if the, most of the time, and I think that was, the power was Pastor Key, I seen post that on, on uh, Instagram, that uh, the, the folks that are closest to you are not supporting you as much as the ones that are far away. You need to rethink the people that's closest to you. Just saying. Rethink those things because all the time that's not getting. I know people have told you. I know they told you, Tiana, with your paparazzi business that you're not gonna make that much. It's not worth it. I don't like that. That's not for you know. And but you keep going on. Keep whatever you're doing. Keep doing it. You don't have to let everybody know your every step, um, your every move because everybody not gonna support you. And it's fine. That's a part of it. You know. They are they supporting Jesus? Everybody not supporting him either. So. Um, so yeah, we. Sorry, y'all. Hey, how are you guys today? Sorry, I'm making some tuna fish, y'all. So, you know, you got the. Because other people get on her collar. Will you stop talking to me like that? Will you put? Don't talk about me and like I don't know it's about me. Like who does that? You think I'm gonna? I'm your mom. I'm your parent. So anyway, um, 
But yeah, so you don't worry about if folks is gonna come support or not. And if you keep inviting the same people to the to stuff that you have going on and they still don't come and support you, after a while you stop inviting them. Then when they start seeing you didn't even tell me. I was telling you at first and you still didn't come. So I just took you off that list of, in, of invites. You have to learn how to change those things around because a lot of people just gonna they gonna do that. I I seen it done. Um I seen it done with folks did that. You didn't even tell me y'all was on because every time I invite you to something, you're so busy, you don't have time for nobody else. You have um sorry to text it. Um so you do you do have that. I'm just saying it don't have to be nothing big. I'm not saying everybody have a business that they need support from. It could be anything, your kids game, your uh, your church service, something you about to speak at church or you got something going on. It's not all the time that you invite them, but when you do, it's always an excuse or it's always an issue or problem. Um, and just, say, just saying, I don't want to come. I don't want to do that. I've done that before. I promise y'all I have. I had to, uh, somebody invited me to something and sorry, let me stop scraping out this can first. Um, but I have done that before to where I had to, um, tell somebody they invited me to something and so they won't invite me again because I wasn't coming. No, I told them I wasn't coming. I told them why. And, you know, they kind of shined it off or they didn't want to believe or they didn't want to accept what I was telling them, but it wasn't to be mean or anything. I just don't want you, I want you to know that I, I don't want you to invite me to anything else because I'm good because, um, prior situations made me stop doing that. Um, and sometimes you have to do that to, to kind of get folks to uh, be truthful with people because we, you know, we like to sugarcoat and we don't want to tell people the truth. We want to just tell them how we um, try to be nice to them. I just want to be nice to them and just tell them that I, you know, it, I don't, I don't want to hurt their feelings. But that way they won't waste their time inviting you no more. And then you'll be okay. It's okay not to be invited to stuff. It's okay not to be a part of the circle. You see where I'm at, at the house. Not all, I've been here at home all day. <laughs> like, and I'm okay with it. Since I got home from work last night, I've been at the house. And I'm okay with that. Sometimes that's the best place to be. You don't have to always be gone and always be in, in, in why? You wanna run up to the stove? No, I don't wanna go. Sometimes you just, that's just not the way you feel. Sometimes you want to rest. And the way we move around, we move around a lot because because of uh, church. I'm sorry, y'all get notifications on my watch. Um, because you, because of church, we always, we always going, we always on the go and we always doing stuff. Um, so when we get a break and we get a chance to just relax and enjoy ourselves, we should, we try to take advantage of that. Cause I'm telling you, <laughs> we have, um, so many movies and I didn't even know my husband had bought all these movies and we block, we black books. Okay. Um, but he done bought all these movies and I'm and I didn't even know he was like he came in there with two arms full of stuff. I said, We haven't had time to watch because we've been on the go. We always have stuff to do. Hey Andrews, how are you guys day? Um We was coming Friday, but I think it changed. So let me know what the change is and we'll we we'll be there. Hey Listen, Mary. Hey lady, how are you guys day? Listen. Boy, I am fixing this tuna fish. This thing. It's not you. It's tuna fish. You gonna eat it? Oh. How are you? I've been missing you, Mary. I've been missing you. Um, but yeah, since we be so busy and always going and trying to support other people, why you do Kayla like this? Why you do that like that? <laughs> While we always try, we we out supporting people or out doing stuff because of the church and all that. When we get downtime, take advantage of that downtime. And if folks be wanting, you want it? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to go. I don't want to do it. Uh, because you you your body get tired and it will let you know. Last this time last week, I was not feeling the way I was feeling. That migraine had took me down. And my, me and my sister talked the other day, and she told me where that migraine came from, and I was right about my contacts. My contacts tried to take me down, so I'm going to have to change the brand. got to go back to my eye doctor and change my brand. I do not like when some fish look weird. Because that made me be like, no, I don't want to eat it. I don't want it. I don't want to do it. So, yeah, I'm just dumping out the cans right now. So 
add my ingredients. I will get that in a second. Add my ingredients and stuff out in there. He, cause he keep coming over here like he wanted me. I know I wasn't supposed to be making tuna fish this long. I understand that, but don't keep coming over here worrying me. They know I don't do that. Don't rush me. Don't rush me. I'm gonna fix this tuna fish, but I'm let me do it at my pace. Don't be rushing me. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. So when we get downtown, we try to. <laughs> Try to take advantage of that downtime and, and relax and, and just, you know, do nothing. So if y'all see me posting a lot, that's because I was relaxing and doing nothing. <laughs> I didn't want to do anything. I got up and shampooed my hair and stuff. So that's what that's what I wanted to do. Because Kyla was like, Mama, can you take me to Walmart? I'm not going nowhere today. Like, maybe tomorrow. But today was not that day to be doing no Walmart. Not for me. Like, I didn't want to do that. Um... Then he don't got on my nerves trying to rush me. He keep coming over here. I'm gonna fix this. It's getting fixed. We can see that. That it's getting fixed. But um, anyway, um, all in all, y'all, I just really want us to do better with supporting each other and being more encouraging to each other and um, helping each other with their their um, their goals. You want you um, trust me, you're gonna need some help. Everybody that can't say I can do this by myself, I don't need no help. I don't need nobody to support me. Yes, you do. Trust me, you do. If you don't need nobody to support you, then how you gonna get further? That shouldn't even be a thing. Like if you say I don't need nobody to support me, well, if somebody buys something from you, ain't that supporting you? If somebody talking about what you do in a positive way, ain't that supporting you? I don't know why they won't talk about me. I don't need them to support me no way. I don't need nobody to support me. Yes, you do. Stop saying that. Yes, you do. You need folks to support you, so don't say that. You probably don't want those particular people to support you, but you need support. Let's be more supportive with um, with somebody with uh, other people. Things. I'm not supporting uh, Lynn's father-in-law's business. I'm gonna put that out there. I don't mind saying it. She know why. Bless you. <laughs> God bless you. Bless you. You for the sneeze again. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You got three saved up. You got three credits. You lame. You lame. No, you busy doing nothing. Listen, absolutely. And so, like I said, uh, we he had all those movies. Okay, you got two left. Um. He had all those um, those movies packed up. So, oh, it's my lens, father-in-law. I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. I can't put that out there. And then people be saying, you texting me over there to this man? Nope, won't be doing that. Um, but anyway, my husband, when he came in there with the movies the other day, I was like, we had all these movies. I just bought them because we don't, we don't never have time to watch them. So I bought them because they be on sale or whatever. And I'm like, okay, you done bought these movies? And... Uh, they on sale <laughs> and we don't have time to watch them and so when we do i think the other night was it tuesday it wasn't tuesday night it had to be monday night then it was it monday it had to be monday sunday or monday we watched like three or four movies right back to back to back yeah we're not doing that yo did yo fuck no i'm not going to talk about it um he um so we watched all those movies because we like i said we don't have a lot of downtown and when we do we try to take advantage of it uh, Cause you you have to you can't let other things take the place of you getting some rest of your your peace your your cause you got to clear your head sometimes if you ever have to go in a room and just be like oh I just need a minute just let me clear my head for a minute cause you you have to you have to relax and let some things um, take advantage of that time and like I said we do we do when we get that time take advantage of that time because the end of what well, all of last year was kind of like boom 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 it's just like a lot everything was happening i just like oh i just got through with this let me and you working on that so um and i try to plan things out my schedule i try to plan things out according to how um why it comes up so say for instance like the seven up program i made sure everything was done i got one thing to do to make sure that that's done plan it for us planning go and that that's gonna be done um but you try to have everything i plan according to the way it's coming up because you can't run yourself crazy 
and you're trying to please other people. Hey, Miss Stephanie, happy belated birthday. How are you? Merry New Year. Listen, I got a question for y'all. What is, when is the, when, how much, how, how far in the month do you keep saying, uh, happy new year? Like you said all January, do you stop after the first week? Is it seven days afterwards? Is it like a few days? How, cause you know, you'll see people and it'd be like January 31st. And you'd be like, happy new year. No, it's not no more. We on month two. Like we got to let it go. <laughs> you welcome. I pray you had a blessed birthday. I pray you did. Oh, I was looking for my pencil. It's up here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to, but um, how how long? I think I've asked that before. Like some people, just before I started doing these lives and stuff, I've asked that question before. Like when, how, <laughs> how how long? How many days is it still Happy New Year? Do you say that to people? And I know you run into people all the time. You just be like, oh, yeah. but in February people still saying Happy New Year. That's the problem. We don't talk about that. I'm just saying. When when is the last day to stop saying Happy New Year? When has that time ended? Let me throw this in the trash. Hold on. Why are you sitting up here going, what's up with trash? Are you trying to rush me to make it? You want to rush me? Uh-oh. You're making sure the lid you're trying to jump on me for saying something to you. <laughs> So nobody know what the hell it is today. What is the answer to people not um uh, when is the last time I mean when's the last day you can say happy new year? How long does that last? Because you know, you don't want to be in March and happy new year. No, it's not. New year is it a week? Because I think we bought it our week because it's like that's enough. I don't say it nine million times and it's enough. It is enough. So, um, I don't drain all this. I like the vegetable oil because it has more flavor. I don't use, I don't like to use the water because it tastes like water. It kind of looks like, mom, why you don't get the water? Because it tastes like water to me. The 31st, that long? Ooh, we got so many more days to go. It's like, I'm old, I get over it real quick. Like, that's enough. Yeah, same to you. <laughs> After a while, that's what you be after doing. Same to you. So, T. Undy, I don't know if you still know her, but I don't drain. I like the vegetable. I should show you the. I put y'all probably seen the can. I wasn't paying attention. Um, I like to use the vegetable oil because it has more season to me. It um, absorbs the flavor more to me. Um, I don't think nobody. Uh, Kyla, you gonna eat some of this tuna fish? Yes. She just ate, but she gonna eat again. Hey, lady, how are you? Merry New Year. How you been? So. The tuna fish, I use the vegetable oil, drain it off. And then, um, Tamika, hi. How are you, dear? God say. Don't do her. Don't do her. Um, and then put some, some mayonnaise on it. I'm not a fan of mayonnaise, but I know that's what go into the tuna fish. But I am definitely not a fan of this. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna use a whole, whole lot because I don't like the taste. So I don't like I'm not a mayonnaise person, so. But I'm gonna thin this out because it don't mix all the way in, so I'm trying to thin it out, spread this tuna fish out as it's mixing in with the mayonnaise. So I won't have to use so much. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that. So I'm hoping that helps mix it in better by smooshing it down. Um. So anyway, um. Mom was talking about that. Um, but I do, I really do appreciate y'all going and liking the page and supporting it um, and allowing me to post on your wall to um, help people come and like that page. And if you have something, like I said before, your bishop half eaten, he's already ate. He didn't want no tuna fish. He asked me what I wanted to eat and I told him tuna fish. So that's what we got, but he didn't want that, okay? Mind your business. You know, I got that this year. I'm doing that this year. Listen, <laughs> he didn't want that, so he ate something else. He called me before he came back home, 
and he told me what he wanted. I mean, he told me that he didn't want this, so I did. So he ate, he's already eaten, he's taken care of. Trust me, I would have been done with this up quicker if he wanted this. Cause I know he would have been saying, what the fuck that? You ain't not talking, what the fuck that? But that ain't what this is, so. So anyway, um, I do appreciate y'all allowing me to write on y'all wall. And if you have not seen it, if I didn't tag you in it, please, my apologies. I was trying to tag as many people as I could um, and let them know, um, try to get permission to put something on their wall about God's Day to get people to come and like the page and share the page and look at the contents of the page. You might see some people on there that you know. Church service, I was trying to get people to put their church service on there so they can uh, invite people to their church. You go to God's Day, there is a post that's saying, uh, post your church times, your pastor's name, your name of your church, your pastor's name. Invite people to your church. That's the opportunity to do that. Um, try to increase the, the uh, people to go and look at that page and they can see different stuff on there. Like I said, we celebrate birthdays. Um, try to keep the forecast up there. The stuff that's going on in the neighborhood, y'all pray for those that are um, these troops military that's going over here and i didn't even know we were starting the war man to me i had to ask to me because i didn't even know yesterday when we was leaving work i said so what happened why is all these people on facebook talking about our i didn't know so because i don't some things i just i used to watch the news all the time like when i got but i don't if i don't see it on social media it's kind of like okay well it is but i didn't know that had happened so my apologies, but pray for those that are going to fight something that we didn't have to fight. That was not for us to be, like we didn't do it. So I don't think we should all be over there doing that, fighting that, but that's not just praying for those and praying for us as a whole, um, because the devil is, he's already been busy, but he's super busy now. He, he like real, real busy because this, this enemy is, is, that's why I say stay prayed up, get yourself together, get your life right with God, because you never know. These people are out of here, they don't care. If it's about me and what I want, then that's the way it's going to be about me and what I want. What you say? I had to ask you how she was looking. Oh. Um, about what they want and all that kind of stuff, and they don't care about you. So that's why I say stay prayed up. If somebody take you into this um take you out of here, you know where you're going. You know where you're going to spend eternity. That's why I say, get your life right with God. Don't worry about all this petty stuff that people got, you know, we doing grabbing her and doing all this. That's grabbing her. I mean, folks be in your face, they, I can't. Grabbing her, you know. But stay prayed up and make sure that your life is right with God because some things are just senseless. We've seen a lot of senseless murders, 2019. Um, seem like they trying to start this foolishness again. Um, but we keep staying, getting your life in order and staying praying up. Don't insert yourself in stuff that has nothing to do with you or it don't make no sense. Don't, don't, don't do that. Um, cause now we're, we're fighting something that, that they don't need to be. And that's just, me. that's just my opinion on that. I don't leave that alone, but I'm just saying that's my opinion on that. Senseless things, not, not. We inserted ourselves in something that didn't need to happen. It didn't need to be. Why did we? Why are we doing that? What is our point? I don't even because I don't. I don't watch a little orange man. I don't. Even, he don't even get no. He don't get no that with me. Like I'm. I'm done talking about him. I'm just saying the point of that was what. All right. I'm gonna leave that alone because I don't. You. I know I don't talk about him because he don't get because that's too much air for me to be breathing and wasting on him. My breath wasting on him is a waste. So, moving on. Uh. So, again, because this has happened now, we need to really get closer to God, like, for real, for real. Uh, because things are happening that are senseless, that don't need to be, that don't need to be a part of. And what do you do? Last week, it was the situation with the church. Why was that? Did we ever find out why he did that? You know, you come into a church, and, and when you at that point to where you do the outside stuff inside of a church, you know it's time. Y'all know what time that is. It's like, you you bold enough, because you know, I know I probably missed that era, but the respect of church was totally different than it is now. Like, we don't care what we do and how we sit and how we present it into church. It's okay, but God knows my heart, you know. So it's it's church and they, that's the way it's supposed to be. They're in the room talking, so if y'all hear them, they laughing and talking, they in the other room. But, 
Um, that's what that's what people do. So when we're because like I was well, what I was about to say back then um, when folks used to drink or smoke, they used to cross the street when they was coming upon a church property they won't even walk on the same side as the church was because they gave that much respect i know that it's wrong to to don't mess with leave alone um what what you want to do what you want to do because i'm trying to figure out what you're talking about like you wanted to do something just making sure Lynn don't say nothing. He, he will don't say anything. What's up? What's up? Look, classmate. <laughs> Guys, they are you. Um, but as I was saying, you know, that kind of stuff, when we're, we are lost the respect of church overall, and I'm not always talking about just that. I'm just saying how things have just changed from 10 years ago, from 20 years ago. Um, now we fighting a senseless war or starting something that didn't need to be started some things you know you, you got your loved ones home they're here with their families they don't start it back their lives again but now they're getting to get put back out there and they may not ever come back home so that that for, for what what was the point um is the reason why i was saying that and that's why i said this even with us locally our neighborhoods in our state in our city or whatever what are you saying now your toe ain't that tall. Boy. No, you want you want stand on top of hers either. You weren't doing that either. So, um. Um, so no! I didn't know it was open like that. Jesus. That's it on that. I'm about to put a sore sneeze. That kind of came out fast. I didn't know that side was open. Uh, okay, I'm about to put black pepper. I don't know if you're still on here. You just ask me. I have to inbox you if you're not still on here. Yeah. I'm in the kitchen. And I'm with it. Season made to the end. To the tune. No, not like mayonnaise. To the tune. So you're going to say this with a song? I'm in the kitchen. And I'm with it. Back. Come Boy, get out of here. It ain't gonna, this is probably not gonna make it to the moon. I probably should got more cans. You, it ain't no more cans of tuna fish in there? But this ain't but six. And I know y'all gonna be making mountains of tuna fish. You, this ain't gonna even make it to midnight. No, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get mine now. Make sure my husband don't want none for later. How you know? Because if that's the case, y'all gonna have to go across the street and get some more cans. You told him? I said I Dwight Collins. Mother. What? I said I was asking him. No, you said you told him. <laughs> Don't do my husband. Don't do him. Tell his wife that. Huh? Tell his wife that. Lynn, your boy about to get all the way jacked up. So, uh... That was some really shit, man. Um, but anyway, y'all. <laughs> you know, kids, how they are. Um. Shut up! Yeah. You put it in there? I put something in there? Nah, it's too late now. You got the prey on it. Pray 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 on it. 
So. So anyway, y'all. Yeah. So um please continue to support that page, the guys they page and um everything that's um a part of that um and try to bring some new stuff to it um try to share as many people information their business putting their stuff out there whatever events they have trying to put it out there even try to stay update, updated as much as we can with the news um excuse me what's happening around the world try to be updated with that as much as possible um Eggs be like, so oh, I'm fixing. Hey, how are you guys? Say, I'm making uh tuna fish, I'm making tuna fish. So, I got to see if I can find my other ingredient up here when I finish chopping these eggs up. Um, but yeah, I'm making tuna fish. We haven't had tuna fish in a long time. We used to eat it like once a week, but we haven't had it so long. My husband and son in another room and they like, I bet they watching sports, some sports or something. So, um, but anyway, um, yeah, y'all, y'all got something going on with that? Y'all church service? Y'all, y'all got an event? As long as it's not nothing, I have to put a disclaimer on. Like an age thing, like 18 and 20 or, you know, 21 or whatever. Uh, I don't mind sharing it. Uh, I don't do, I don't share um, nudity and the stripping and the cussing videos and stuff like that. I won't do that. Um, some onion. Uh, my, uh, one of my uh, ex-brother-in-laws used to do that. I've never had that until... Oh. Um, I went over to their house and I was like, but to me, I know it ain't gonna last in this house. It's not gonna, uh, <laughs> thank you. Let me tell you something. I, I know it's not gonna make it past. What time is it right now? 10 20. It ain't gonna make it past. It ain't gonna make it to midnight. And I know I should have got more than I did, but it ain't gonna make it past midnight with my, the two, two the two young ones and me. It ain't gonna be me, it's gonna be them. My son is gonna make a whole mountain of a sandwich. I guarantee you. That's why he was like, oh yeah, that ain't gonna make it. That ain't, that ain't gonna make it. So, uh, but to me, I think the onion make it, um, see, he said my that's nasty. If I put that in there, he ain't gonna eat it. See, my daughter said it too. They not gonna eat it if it's don't, if, they, if I'm gonna put onion in it. Um, because they, you know, to me, it make it like, um, go bad quicker. That makes sense. It make it go, uh, it go sour. Yeah, what in the I'm world? Just in my head. In my room. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> um, and to me, it make it go bad quicker. But my auntie, God bless her, rest her soul. Oh my bad. Let me do better. Let me get myself together. <laughs> Let me get myself together. Let me do better. Um, but my auntie used to put apples in hers. Look, my kids are my oh y'all didn't get a chance to meet Aunt Christine like that. Y'all didn't get a chance to know her like that. That's Ebony's mama. Um, but she used to put apples in hers, and we every time we used to go up her house, she used to make it and she used to put in this cute little um casserole dish. It was so cute. Uh, like a rose gold casserole dish and had a little top on it. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Um, but she used to put apples in there. I used to say, who putting apples off in they, in they tuna fish? I thought that was the weirdest thing. Like, I don't know. Yeah. So I ate around the apples because you at somebody else's house. Mom used to tell you, somebody offer you something, you take it and you, you know. So I used to eat around the apples, but I never understood why she put apples inside of it. So that's the only weird thing that I know, apples being put in it. And then my my ex-brother-in-law used to put onions in his. The onions, yeah, it's a good flavor or whatever, but I think if you trying to, because uh, onions make food go bad quicker. So... If you put onions in it, I know, like I said, if I put onions in here, they ain't gonna eat it for one. But if I do, and it, it, it probably won't make it to twelve o'clock, no way. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna last long. 
because they love tuna fish around here. I was talking about y'all going to the store across there. I didn't know it was after 10 o'clock. Y'all ain't gonna be able to do that. Now, Apple, you can keep it. Tell them to eat it, eat it fresh. <laughs> you teaching me nothing is worth getting mad. Nothing, it's not worth, I promise you it's not nothing. Nothing is worth getting mad. Um, I, uh-uh. Nah, y'all, this is gonna be it. We ain't going back to no store. This is it for the night. We gonna put this, these ingredients in here. And we gonna let that be. Um, yeah, getting mad for what? Why do I mean? I'm not saying I know we're human, we're gonna get mad, but some things are just, uh, yeah, um, uh, not that well. I have eggs over here. <laughs> See if there's some, um, while you're standing here. Yeah, not to get mad at small things, especially stuff that you can't. I just can't. I can't let nobody get steal my peace like that, or steal my joy, my happiness by allowing me to spend all that energy I can enjoy by being doing something positive. Folks want that from you. They want you to be upset. What is it? You just believe you. They probably didn't even know it was up there. And I think it's your daddy's. There you go. They probably didn't know that young man did. You probably didn't know that it was up there. Uh, but yeah, some things you just don't even have to let get you to that point, make you upset. Fish and shrimp, good. I don't eat seafood, so I'm out of that. Teach me now. Okay, I told them at church, guys, they got great ideas. Oh, good, good, good. I'm first lady, but you really have helped me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I pray that I do bless you. Oh, I think you got one more credit. I think you over. I don't say God bless you extra more time so I can, you know, I don't have to keep saying it. I was giving it to you in advance that God gonna bless them to those sneezes. He gonna bless them. He gonna, he gonna heal it. God, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You got three left. Three credits. <laughs> Sorry, these around here. But um, I, I'm glad. I, that's what I try to do. I've uh, my goal overall. Once I started doing God's Day with Whispers in the Pews, because it originally started out as Whispers in the Pews, um, and I added God's Day ahead. I didn't want to get rid of uh, Whispers in the Pews because um, that's where it originally started from. I just never really went live about. It. I just kind of like talked about it and had little uh, questions asking um, about little things. Um, it's definitely not. Let me listen. You don't start some. Uh, but I started, I'm going to go back to that in a second, but I started with Whispers in the Pews because that was something that people were not um, 
comfortable with talking about um, tough conversations. Earlier, my son came here and asked a question about is sex toys a um, uh, a sin? So we had that conversation earlier. Some people, I know they feel some type of way about it, but he came in here and I don't know if it was somebody he was on the phone talking to or whatever, where the conversation came from, but he came to me with it. He was like, you might not want to ask that. I said, but that's the kind of stuff we ask. People are afraid to talk about stuff that is real life. Um, and I've learned with the 38 years on being on this earth <laughs> that um, a lot of people sugarcoat stuff to make people feel good. And it's not always the right thing. That's not always truthful. Why can't we have... Um, give somebody the truth and tell them right from wrong or tell them how they're handling things wrong. Um, so, and see, some people have, they, you're right, they don't, they don't have any respect, but the whispers in the pews came from people whispering amongst them, the, each other or on the phone, talking to their friend girl or talking to a, a church member and saying, girl, I didn't like that he said, and I don't think that that's right, but we never bring it to the forefront. So it always get put in this little box and it get tucked away in the closet and nobody ever, ever opens up that closet and take those little bitty things that we've been afraid to talk about. They never take them out and discuss those issues. So that's why I started, and I told my husband, this was years ago, like years and years ago. Um, that I had started doing some stuff and he was like, and I kept asking him little stuff and I said, but why is that okay? Like, why don't nobody ever say anything about this particular issue or they never say anything about that over the, or they see that stuff is wrong, but nobody speak up on it. We just keep letting, but God is holding us accountable for yeah. not. Yes, dear. Yes, Hold the line, y'all. Carla. Yeah. Huh? They, they do. I'm finna tell you about that in just a second. Let me see what my husband want. Kyle, my daughter finna come talk to y'all for a second. You Here she go. Yep. Hello, you guys. I'm Kyla. I'm her daughter. Mm. <clears throat> Let me tell y'all what I was doing before I came over here. I was watching Bring It on YouTube. I was over there on the couch, going through the comments while I was watching the little show. Because I like to see all the dance moves and everything. I'm a little stuffed up. And my nose is a little stuffed up. That's why I was chilling. Don't come here and play with my food. Don't smell like food. That look nasty. Nobody, girl. Nobody, who asked him? Oh, I know what I'm going to make. Oh. That. Some of that. No one Some cares. No one asked. Hey, let it. I ate it. Uh uh. Uh uh. Nope. Uh, she not can't make it the right time. Nope. She can't make not it the right time. You got the store. I should stuff. be rich. Nope, not this one. I should be rich. Throw that in the trash. Cause it got the. I don't want you to knock those those things out of there. Oh, you put your little egg shells in my box. <laughs> <laughs> I put that in the trash. It's filled up so bad. Yeah, I told your brother. If I open this, go fill up, fill up. She fire. said you funny. <laughs> listen, listen. Try to be. Listen. Let me say this. Hey, how are you guys say? Listen, it's not it's not easy, and that's um, really is the reason why I started speaking on um, I, last year, not last year, year before Chanel. last in twenty eighteen. In twenty eighteen, I was um, I prayed about the end of twenty eighteen for the Lord to show me some. Here go to the, the great Reverend Doctor. You ain't coming over here. I ain't gonna say it. I'll just ask them. <laughs> you ain't make your daughter get your nose. Fish out. I don't know. Ask that, that eldest one in there, you. Oh, nobody else is here. Yeah. I ain't been in here since I came here early. No. You got excited too, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, no. I never did that. Bad. But, um, I don't know if they still want to use that one or not. 
She funny. You been quiet? I know it is hard um, to deal with because everybody think that that's all grammar. Hey, Tiffany, how are you? God's day, happy belated birthday. Happy belated birthday, girl. Merry New Year. It's making tuna fish. Hold on. Oh, this is on. looking for something I can't find it so I guess we don't have any but anyway um as I was saying it is hard for first ladies because they always think it's just about the glamour and the cuteness and the prettiness and how well she dressed and how she speak but it's deeper than that um one of my friends um I I was on the fragrant lady uh some months back and but they always had great topics because this is all first ladies panel uh -huh. um all the hosts that are on that show <coughs> excuse me all first ladies and they had a topic one one saturday morning um that said um first ladies is is uh how to deal with loneliness a lot of people don't believe in you it, and it sounds weird but it, if you and that's why i was saying the other day because we talked about this the other day that a lot of people don't feel like um they think they have it all or they have it all together or it's always about the shine and the, like I said the glamour and all of that kind of stuff and that's not what it is um it's not just that it's deeper than that so when they said it's lonely at the top because you can have um if you ever go back to the fragrant lady any of the, um to that page because I posted that page too um and they were um they on hold right now not just them but the anybody that deal with the fishbowl they're on hold right now because they're changing there's some things being changed up but for the most part though um go to that fragrant lady page and they have all of the shows that there that were uh previously done and it's one of the shows was about being lonely the first lady being lonely that sounds like that's not a true statement but it is because if you're a first lady of a church a mega church or you have two or three hundred members but how she's still lonely okay you're still lonely because what you can't in that world that you in you can't be mixed in with everybody else so when you need to because you have issues and problems too you have part, things that you need um how respectful though yeah you 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 be so when you have it all seems like to people uh because you have people laughing and talking and, and stuff to you but your husband is on a different he's on a different um level he has to go and study he has to go do things but you can't hang out with your home girls or with your friends and stuff anymore because that's not your life that's not what you do you in a whole nother world now and then when you have issues and problems you can't give that you don't want your issues or issues and problems to be on to your husband because he got his own issues and problems there but you're supposed to help him get through because um i need you to get a, a spark and taste it and see if it's good 
I know you miss a taste test. Make sure it's good. Let's see if I need to add something else to it. Sorry, yeah. Yes. What do you mean? Okay. Really. I ain't got no more of that. And as you look out in there and look in the pantry, I didn't see no more. I can talk with the pickles. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't gonna be the same thing. But the pickles are sweet though. Yeah. They sweet like relish. Hey, how are you guys? Say hey, y'all. I know it's late, y'all, but we just we just um um discussing um first ladies right now. That's what we're discussing. Um so people don't believe that that ever like I said, everybody think it's about the glamour and stuff. And then we talked about um, on the fragrant lady before they talked about the disrespect, how disrespectful a lot of people are towards the first lady. And she's supposed to just sit there and take it. I told my husband, and I said here. They called you, they didn't call me. So I will not allow nobody to disrespect you and not just sit back and do like this and watch. I can't do it. I'm not that person. That, that smile and stuff, it eventually you can be the nicest person in the world and people come to disrespect you because they, and I'm gonna tell you why they think that. You're not supposed to act like that. You're not supposed to talk back to me like that. So it's okay for you to talk to me crazy, but when I say it, I'm wrong. No, it's about respect. And then, you know, you take up for your husband or whatever, and you're going to be there for him. But at the same time, you're not going to allow nobody to come in and just disrespect him or you and come to you and to talk to you any kind of way. That's just not going to happen. But my thing is, if you put that out there for, at the forefront, it's like your kids, you tell them straight up, I'm not going to have that. I'm not going to let you do that. I'm not, you tell them, they'll know where you stand. I'm not going to allow you to talk to my husband, Christ. I'm not going to allow you to be disrespectful to him. I'm not going to allow you to be disrespectful to me. There's a conversation that you can have without all the screaming and, and hollering, all the grabbing, er, and doing this, or you got your little slick comments with your little fellow friends or whatever. Um, there's a way to handle things and put it in, in um uh, in a respective manner and not let things linger on because those lingering on situations become big situations and it's hard to die down before it get that big. You've seen other people. Hey, how are you guys say? You've hey, seen hey, other people. Uh huh. Hey, you know they got a uh, that that survival R. Kelly. That's it's a it's a new season now. I heard it was. Somebody said they was watching it the other day. I seen some uh, some of my Facebook friends watching it the other day. I'm gonna have to watch. You know the other one is on Netflix. You got free R. Free R. Kelly, man. What we freeing him for? You can't free people that do wrong, huh? I said free R. Kelly, not Robert. That's two different people. <laughs> Get out. That's two different. I like. Why, okay, so Robert is still gonna be at, at this. They are standing for Roberts. Yes or right? Yes or right? It stands for Robert. I, know, I never knew Robert. what the R stood for. Oh, yeah, you a lie. Everybody knew that R stood for Robert. His name is Robert Kelly. That's his, his name. His music is legendary. Well, now I'm not going to tell no story. He got some hits now. He don't put out some amazing well, songs. But I'm going to tell you something. All his songs... They had a meaning behind it. He was screaming out for help. If you ever noticed, if you pay attention to the stuff that he was doing, I'm was done ready. talking to you about that because that's not what we're going to discuss they tonight. She was ready. The, the she has to come taste it now. The honey dog. And, 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 and he said when a woman fed up, he tried to get, he tried to eat everything. You know what I'm saying? What is that? No, you got Still, still. Side to side. That was a cover up. Well, that was a cover up. No, not not stepping in the name of love. I'm telling you, excuse me. When you go back and watch those series, they gonna tell you when that song came out. The reason why he came up with that, it overshined what he was what he was dealing with with all those charges and stuff. It overshined all, all of that. That's what it did. No. Yes, what about when you go back and watch no. those episodes? What about when a woman loves? I don't know about that. I forgive them. Um, I don't want block with fresh. How do you get past flesh? I don't want to block, but flesh rise. How do you get back? Okay, let me go back and read up, y'all. Sorry, my son. He just coming here. First thing, ah, first thing. First thing said, they wow. said, she first lady. That's true. They always say that. You a first lady. You ain't supposed to say that. You ain't supposed to talk. Well, you were supposed to be a church. You supposed to be a Christian. You ain't supposed to say that. So, <laughs> listen, my husband, you use our family first. 
I don't want a black foot. Flesh fries. Flesh rise. How do you get flesh? Yeah, they do. Um, and I can't say, for instance, I'm just saying I've seen, um, I've been in church my entire life. Um, I stepped out of church for about 10 months and went through some stuff and made me get back into church and I ain't left since. Um, but um, that's not the point of this. <laughs> but um, yeah, the respect, that's why I said overall, you have to get that, give that, get that respect started early so people know where you stand that they know what you're not what you're going to stand for and what you're not going to stand for what you're going to um, accept and what you're not going to accept you have to put that in because people will run over you they'll say anything to you and because they'll use that first lady pastor christian thing and they'll let that be the reason why they slide with stuff or it's okay to say this to them and it's okay you can tell people off really good it don't have to have nothing to do with no cussing and don't have, have nothing to do with you getting out of character. Have you ever people seen people read people? And you just be like, oh, she gave her a good read. Because, and it don't have to be, it don't have to be all the time. And don't don't get me wrong, because I'm not that person when somebody says something, I'm ready to pop off because that's never that's never been me. Um, and you give people opportunities because you you know folks go through stuff and you try to um and it I think okay, so when you talking about that, because I I'm not gonna even tell that tale. I've had that struggle. Let me say it like this. Um <laughs> You try to give me, you try to listen, you listen, because I know they be trying to watch. Listen, I ain't going to go there, but um, we're supposed to stay solid. Supposed to. Supposed to. Um, but I think there's a time when the silence must rise. Um, it don't have to be right away. Um, because you're human, we're human first. So you you go through things, and it's gonna people gonna keep nudging at you, and folks gonna nudge at you to see how far they can get with you, and they can't wait. But when you when you do get um, at a point to where, okay, there's a way to handle not being silent anymore. Come here, let me. I, I need to have a, a conversation with you, and if you can have that conversation one on one, no, don't go to nobody or the people, the person, or whatever. Don't go to them. Um, yeah, you have, you did say that. Um, don't go to them because that's, that's biblical. We're supposed to go to our brother or our sister when there is an issue and discuss that issue one-on-one. -on -one. If that doesn't help, okay, now you bring somebody else in. That's a mutual party. Don't know either side and they're coming in and they're going to, you're going to discuss how you feel with that person. Okay. Now that doesn't work. Okay. Now you're supposed to bring it before the people. And let them know what's been going on and what's been happening and how you've been trying to resolve that issue when no one wants to wants to do it. Oh yeah, the late calls. Um, you holidays, you're off. Um, I'm in the hospital. You stop what you're doing and come see me. You you um, my cat done 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 got hit by a car. Come and see me. There's things you have to stop at the top. We ain't going to see no animal calls. I'm sorry. We'll talk about it tomorrow. If there is life death with people that are, I get it. But when it's stuff just because you just want to have that one-on-one -on -one time with me, it's enough. He's, I'm sorry, he coming to taste me. That's it. Okay. Be nice. Leave me some. There's the bread over there. Be nice, though. Well, I was going to put this other egg in there. Nada, you can come eat. Get up, yeah. Nuh-uh. She ain't got to get up now. I'm just saying she can come eat. Okay, sorry. Yeah, those late calls. People, um, <laughs> they don't care. Uh-uh, I'm not finna eat right now. When I get out of here, I'm gonna eat. Uh, I'm not talking about... See, Lynn, ain't nobody, I forgot all about him. He gone to glory anyway. I'm not even talking about him. Y'all, this egg is about to bless my soul. I'm not talking about your scooter, but I'm just, <laughs> she a member of the church, so don't excuse her. That's just the way she is, you know. You know, some people, you just, uh-oh, listen. Mm, mm. You have to break down one sandwich like that? Yet.
Boy, it's like a level. I took two Look at that. That's not even a pack. That's a lot of tuna fish on one sandwich. They wonder why I don't like cooking. I don't like cooking for them. I don't like fixing food for them. Anyway. <laughs> Girl, that was a lot, wasn't it, Lynn? Hey, Miss Tracy. God's day. I'm sorry. Let me get back to what we were talking about. So, sorry. Have to eat that. That was a egg with some of that season on it. <clears throat> Miss Trace, I got it. We'll talk. Anyway, um, but yeah, people are inconsiderate because they use he a pastor, he's supposed to. I pay his salary, or that's the way, and they expect for him to get up out of his bed. Matters if he with his family. I know duty calls, they on they on call 24-7. My husband's on call 24-7. Somebody call now saying something that's going on with them, I understand that. That's fine. But it shouldn't... Pain. But it... Keontae, first of all, you need to sit down eating. Because all that walking and eating is just not gone. No. Um. <clears throat> oh. Oh, so now that's different. Uh, been there. Who? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, uh, Lady Smith? Why are you doing it to me? Been there. Um, okay, so you brought it up. I didn't. All right. So here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's a we now. We all have our woman's intuition, as they say. My husband don't like when I say that, but it is true. That's what we got. We got a woman's intuition. Um... And my husband worked too. And that's why I say, and, and my things, okay, so like last year in August, my husband had a small, uh, a mild heart attack or whatever. Um, and it was sent, you know, they really, anyway. And I see how that brought him to a whole nother person. And the fear, the scare, the unexpected, the unknown, all of that that he had went through um, took him to a whole nother level. And I decided, praying, talking to Jesus all about it, telling him all about my troubles. I've decided that I would not allow things that have uh, previously happened affect him anymore, his health anymore. Um, my coach. You old, oh, uh, hammer toe boy. You, you already swallowed that sandwich? It has been gone. Give me a second. and stuff falling out over here. Okay, so <laughs> listen. Um, so I decided I was not going to allow anything or anybody else affect me. Trace, I'm about to get rid of him. He he on that nerve. I don't make this tuna fish. I'm done. He don't have a sandwich that was piled this high and then talking about wasn't nothing wrong with it. You piled a whole sa That's not true. That's, I'm going to let that be. Um, but I decided I was not going to allow anything that has prior, uh, previously happened to happen again, to put him in that predicament again. Lesson learned. You see what I'm saying? So, lesson learned. So, I would not allow. <laughs> Lynn said, you can come over there. He sure can. She said, she got a new bed for you. You can go over there. That's cool. He's my that's cool. He'll have his stuff ready tomorrow. We're not going to high school. <laughs> he took my hair, I go to school. But listen, I do have my, my uh clip in my head though. Yes. Okay, so seriously though. Um <laughs> listen, this young man here. Um, but I would not allow things previously done to affect his health anymore. So I decided uh, that I would do better oh, as far as taking care of situations that good. won't affect him or in his health anymore. Because uh, when it gets to a point where it affects my house or it puts my husband in a, in a health scare or a health situation, now I'm different. I'm not that same person that you used to have prior to this happening. It won't happen again. And so people, it's not about being mean or being, um, 
<laughs> but it's about your life because when you go home, who's there with you and your husband, you and him, your kids or whoever, it's not everybody else. And um, when it comes down to someone trying to get up under your husband, you see that, you nip that in the bud from the, from the jump. Oh, we coming, we'll be there, we on our way. It's a we thing, ain't no, ain't no lonely, uh, we need to talk, no, we coming, I'm coming too. Or somebody's going in there with you to have a discussion. We, what you talking about? What is there to talk about that you can't talk out about in the forefront? Not having a conversation with him by yourself. Because people are, they have a motive. They have things they want to set up and they want to do because that's what they, they got a motive. And I'm going to tell you something. It's really weird. And I, I had to learn this over the years. People love, women love power. Women love power. Women love to be seen. And if you, you got this powerful man, even though you might not have but five members at your church, I'm not saying that's what you, I'm just saying, this is a for instance. If you have five members at your church, it don't even matter. He got power though. You know what, what his name, his, his name is on stuff. He's, he, people are calling him, they got, he got a title attached to his name. So we love that. So I want to be that person. I'm not talking about every woman. Don't get me wrong. I'm talking about these women that like to be seen. I'm not talking about all of them. I'm not talking about everybody. I know we fall in different cat categories. Um, exactly, Miss Tracy. We'll be there. I will see you. Uh, what we need to talk about. We need to discuss it. I told you at that time, this young lady, <laughs> it was a discussion. Lynn know what I'm talking about. Why? It was a discussion. Why? They might come in and look at this live, and I'm okay with it because I'm okay with it. Um, but, um, and they're not my friend on Facebook, but they'll still come and look. You're welcome to. I don't block nobody. I'll let you see. Um, but anyway, they did this, and it was the conversation wasn't towards my husband, but you were this close to him, and you who? were doing this. Uh uh, don't do that. I just said who? Yeah, oh, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. You no. ask me after a while. No, no, ask me why I'm why I'm live. <laughs> Recently. So they were doing this to him, and I said, and I. It wasn't a loud conversation. I didn't express my feelings loud. I just said, please don't grab Aaron from my husband. If there's a conversation that needs to be had, you can take the person that you have the issue with and y'all can go into the office and have this conversation. But don't do this in his face. Don't don't grab Aaron. Because to, to women, when you do this, this sounds like okay, there's a... Or, yeah, or doing this, like... You know, that's and you that this is the that sounds like to me that it has went up to a different level now. And me as a woman, he can't, but his wife can. So to avoid that, I'm asking you nicely, please. I didn't give that much. I was just like, could you not grab her and you know Who towards you him? To? Go take that on another because people exactly they don't fear God anymore. That's what I was talking about a few minutes ago where folks don't even respect church anymore. It's always got to be about I'm the biggest, baddest one. People don't do that in it's church. That that I wanna I wanna show off this that. this Miss Tracy? Uh-huh. Hey Miss Tracy. There she go. It's there that's right Miss Tracy. There's order in everything. But I think the level of when people don't respect um, church, first of all, they're not respecting, well, let me go back. They're not respecting God. They're not respecting the church, the house of the Lord. And then they're not respecting their leader. When you're going to tell your leader what you is and ain't going to do, and you can't tell me, when you go down that road like you're talking to your homegirl, it's disrespectful. Yeah. That's 11. Then you're doing it for for everybody to look at you and to see you. Um, she said, hey, baby girl, and where you going with your sandwich? Let me look at your sandwich. You eating in my bed. Come here. I Cause they pounding these sandwiches up and they, I ain't fixing no more. Like, I'm done. I, I'm gonna go there. Well, let me see some hot and I'm having this problem. Hey, Marlon. 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 Hey,
they want to be seen. And I want somebody to know that I'm bad, that I don't beat up 30 people in my life. Who cares? This is church. This You respect the house of the Lord. You don't come for, no, for, no, for nothing extra, no more than that. You stay within the will of God. You stay coming to worship God. All this outside stuff, that's for the outside. You don't bring all that foolishness into the church. Oh! Yo, yo, boy, uh, all your your problems and issues that you you have with you, again, you're supposed to go to your sister, your brother, and discuss those situations. Hey, sir, how are you? Congratulations on your movie. Um, Y'all check out, um, is it, I forgot, is it um something round off? Put it on here so that I can tell him. Y'all, he's in a movie that there's been um out. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be in theaters or whatever. Put the information on here so we can, um, that's good. I'm, I'm glad you did. I'm hoping, hopefully I can help. I'm a part of a first lady's, uh, support group on Facebook. Um, if I need to add you on there, I have them to add you on there. I will. Um, I have not been to anything that they have done because every time they have something, we have something and it's hard for me to come to their events that they have. So I'm, I'm trying, hopefully this year I can do that. That's my goal. But you do need support from other first. I have, um, come on, live in the word. People, are, I'm just what I'm saying, folks are not, they're just so afraid um, to, to live. So you coming back for sandwich number two? Make a hat. I apologize, but I'm truly learning first lady, not easy. Oh, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. I love this kind of stuff. I'm with it because nobody, honestly, I didn't get that help either. I had to watch and learn on my own. And I've been told, been wrong about a lot of things, and I'm okay with that. I told y'all I accept constructive criticism when I'm, I told y'all a long time ago, because I have a shirt on up under here, but I wanted to put on a shirt over this because I was already told that some of the shirts that I wear are low cut. So I took heed to it, and I said, well, let me put on the extra shirt, you know, because like I said, it's a different shirt, but it's lower, and I didn't want to, you know, so I'm trying to be respectful. I try to take heed to what people tell me and try to correct me because if I offend somebody I'm supposed to correct this so that's what I'm trying to do um but I love that kind of stuff because I wish I had some some people or somebody's to assist me with my questions that I've had now I've, I got friends that I've went to and asked about okay how would you deal with this how would you deal with that and you get those type of responses here and there and you'll be amazed by some of the things that first like, and you can you know if you already a first like you already know what we could put some of the stuff I didn't even know and I'm like I've been knowing you for years I never knew that happened to you and once they go then it was just like yeah I had to go I went through that I don't want to put it out there because just in case they go back and they be like why are you talking about I don't do that but um when the stuff that they discuss I don't mind saying nothing that has went on with me because I'm an open book I don't care um but Mine's too. Mine's is gone too. And mine's has left. Um, it's been, she passed away in 2008. So it's been, oh yeah, it's been a while. 11 know, years. I don't want to know how that feels to lose your mother. So yeah, you don't. I need you to stay here to after I leave this earth. That's, that's how long I need you to stay here. To after you leave? Uh huh. Um, and I'm not leaving Well, Deacon, like I didn't 40. think they tried, but Deacon, so, oh, hunty, hunty, listen. When I tell you, you be amazed. You be amazed at some of the stuff, and you just like these are church folks doing this to people. Go back if you have, like I said, I, I uh, recommend going to the Fragrant Ladies page, watching some of those videos. They have the titles of the videos on there. Um, the day I was on there, I was just talking about um, the judging because I've been in that in that since I've been a first lady. Why she wearing that? Ain't she a little too thick? You know. I don't want to say all the other stuff to be wearing some of that stuff. Why she take pictures from behind and I had all that done. Like all those questions since I've been a first lady. But before being a first lady, um, the judging, the talk about the downing and why you wearing all you do. But you have to look at you. And I said, you know what? And I said this to my sister the other day. People have a problem with you and you're not really their issue. You're not their problem. People are upset with you because of who you're married to and that power that you're married to. And I'm not saying everybody. I'm just saying some people are. So they're going to use whatever they got to get close to whatever they want. And no matter how it make you feel, and they'll laugh and talk and joke with you in your face, but the whole time they're trying to get up under him. 
and you can stop because first of all, you my husband before we came past that first lady. So, because you my husband first, that's the role I'm finna use as wife. That's not happening. That's not finna take place. You shut it down before it gets started. They ain't gonna like it, who cares? But you can say, Pl please don't have a conversation without me being present or somebody that I want to be present with my husband. Because I know your motive. I know what you're after. I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to be. You're trying to take, ain't no, ain't no places. And all, all, the, all the positions within here is taken. They're already filled. We already filled all the applicants and there's, there was none needed. I didn't put no hard sign on him because he's not looking. Here I am. Here she is. It's okay to speak up <laughs> when necessary. I'm telling you, because if you let it go on, they're going to continue to do it. Because they don't feel like you're going to say anything or you're not going to do nothing. Oh, I know she ain't going to say nothing. I know she ain't going to do I don't know, because she a first lady. First ladies don't say nothing. They just be quiet and they husbands will say, Now, I did do something some years ago. This is before I became a first lady. Young lady started this. I ain't going to say who she is, because <laughs> young lady came to the church. She never joined, she just came. And she was always there though. Hey, how are you? God say, Merry New Year, y'all. Merry New Year. Um, but I'm finna say this. Uh been talking to Sister Van. <laughs> how is she, Miss Tracy? How's her grandbaby? Teach me and she having the older woman say hush. Look up. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just reading this. Um, the real wife was has already been selected, sugar. Come, come on, period. Like, she's already been, she's already, all this extra. And the, the energy that they use to try to be in the forefront, you're just like, you're really trying hard. I ain't have to do all that to get him. He already here, and I ain't have to do none of that. Now you're trying to get all up on you trying to, and then when they, listen, let me say this. Let me move on, because... <laughs> Listen, it's already been selected. Come on, Miss Tracy. But people will use any anything, any, and they want to talk, and it be about nothing. Like, what we talk? What you talking about? Like, you have no conversation, cause, and if you trying that hard, you know he not looking. You sound desperate. You sound thirsty. My husband don't do thirsty women. What is your issue or problem? Is it church related? Is it about you getting closer to God? Is it about your life as a whole? Or is it about you trying to get me to be a part of your life? Because as the only part you're going to get is it being a pastor. Listen. Listen. He is burning really bad and he's just seven. But God, oh my gosh. Okay. I'll add him to the prayer list tomorrow. It, um, all right. Behave. I am. Take that trash out. Put some shoes on. Take that trash out. Wow. Uh, you should, because I told you that when you was over here making sandwiches. Yes. <laughs> I did before you was making sandwiches. I told you. Turn the air down like daddy said. Turn the air down like your daddy said. Um. It don't stop. You need me to help you make. No, I'm not gonna get involved because it's not my business or my issue. I suggest if you have not, if you already had a conversation with them, maybe you need to get amongst the, um, and you said, did I read that you said, uh, oh, you're welcome, Miss Tracy, I'll add him on the prayer list tomorrow. Um, I will do it on here, but I'm on the iPad where I put out my announcements and prayer list stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we wear a lot of hats, and we're wearing a lot of hats. It's a lot. You have to endure, so, you know, that's the other nor that. But the <clears throat> um, you said the older older women saying be quiet and hush. Let me say this because I think me and Tamika or me and somebody maybe Lynn maybe somebody we was I was talking to when we had this conversation. Um, what we were talking about, we were talking about back then. Might be man, my I don't know. Who it was, I, mean, I be having different conversation with a lot of different people. I'm just a people person. I just talk to folks. Um, it will stop. That's what, I, that's what I'm about to say. Listen, because the older older crowd, the mothers, bless you, the mothers and stuff of the church are um, the old, I'm going to say older, bless you. And I don't mean just church, just overall. They have always taught you back in the day, um, stay with your husband. 
He beating you because he loves you. He hitting on you because he loves you. Um, he doing you that way because he loves you. I don't want to, I'm going to say it like this because I had to say this before. I don't like the way I feel when somebody do that to me. So to stop me from feeling the way that I am, I want, I'm want i going to let you feel the way that I feel when you do what you do to me. Does that make sense? I hope I didn't go too fast or say something that made it not make sense. In other words, when somebody hurts you, you don't like that hurt that they did to you. You don't like the way that made you feel. It didn't make you feel comfortable. You, wanted, you cried. You was in your feelings about whatever. And then, um, hush, boy. What is that? Why are you barking? What is that? Boy, I know it's you. Stop. So, I didn't, if you don't like the way that they feel, stop it. So, you won't continue to feel that way. What happens is, you start going down. You start feeling some type of way about it. You feel yourself trying to compete. And you don't have to, cause that's already yours. That's you're already. That's already. That's set. You got paperwork. I got paperwork on you. So there's no need for me to do all of this. I'm not saying I did, I'm, cause I ain't doing it. I, it wasn't no need for my situation. It wasn't no need for that. That was just like, that's really. I could put on a trash bag, and it was just. That's not. Lord, please forgive me. Let me do better with me. <laughs> You'll find yourself, uh, see, I know, I know, because that's the way I wanted to. <laughs> but, Lynn, we're not inserting ourselves in, in conversations or people's business that we're not supposed to be inserting ourselves in. We're going to help. We're just going to say what we can do as a whole to make the situation better. Because we can stir up something that can go way worse. Because you just like, wait a minute, which one? And most of the time, you don't even have to see, go and say which one. Nobody have to point them out. You're going to already know. It's the trials and the tribute. It, it, it's, it's God already don't show you who it is. And you don't even have to be, he don't, he already don't show you. You don't even have to point them out. So, oh, it's that one. No, you don't have to do that. Oh, it's them. Oh, and if it's two of them, Jesus, God bless you. But, ooh. That's why I like the word slides. My feet started hurting because they too flat wearing heels all the time. But um, it will, but yeah, it will stop. <laughs> but I will say this. Don't do that because look at, th think about your self-care. Think about yourself. Think about you and how, how long you want to be on this earth. And knowing that that person is not worth your happiness, not worth your peace, not worth anything that you're trying to um, get forth to looking at. Pray about this situation. I know you've already prayed. I suggest if you have not already discussed in this conversation with this person and you may, since it's at a point to where it's causing you to feel some type of way, take somebody else in with you to have that conversation with them. Um, but on the other side of it, uh, do have that conversation with your husband. Because, and let him know how that makes you feel when certain things about that keep coming up or you see stuff that you're not okay with. And it's hard for you to praise God because you're afraid. And I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying this is me. I'm just thinking as this is going on um, as I'm talking about it. You're afraid that that's hindering you from getting closer to God because something somebody's trying to replace you in your face. I don't do well with that. But I will say this, though. Um, think about yourself. Uh, on a serious note, this for real. I don't think set, it, set off. I'm, okay, so think about yourself. <laughs> think about yourself with this. Think about how you feel when that situation comes up or when you see it all the time. Think about that kind of stuff. Um, don't allow yourself to go down. Keep being that great thing that you always have been, that first lady that people love to see. And you know, kill people with kindness, trust me, it will change that whole situation. Think about, but I'm, I'm really concerned with you because it can put you into um, a depression. It can put you into a space of, you feel like you have to compete with this person and you shouldn't, it, it, or you feel like you're not good enough 
or something like that, but that's not true because you wouldn't be where you are if that was true. If they like you had to do that, you don't have to do that. You don't have to accept what's being sent to you. God sees it all. And when he bring it all the way down to a head, they're going to come to you and apologize. Um, or they're just going to leave. Doesn't matter which way it go. Um, and I know, have if you have not, he is aware. Okay, so he's aware of how you feel when this is going on. Um, he's going to have to make you feel comfortable with this. Once you talk to him about it and he's aware of how you feel, he can't initiate things that's going to make you still feel like from his end. Not saying that he does. Not, don't get me wrong. But if you're saying, I don't like when you talk to this person by yourself. Or I don't like when you come when she walks up and, and talk to you. She she has to come and hug you. She got to be the first one to I don't like that. What can you do to change it? How can we as a whole? Because after service, we standing next to each other. Hey, hey, I'm finna be intercepting. Which when we need the now I'm tripping. <laughs> We're intercepting, but I'm concerned because I don't want your health to change because of this situation. Because it can it can make you sick. Um, because you'll be up all night long trying to come up with a plan or a plot on how you can do it and being silent for a long because if it's been going on for a while the silence is not working that's me because it's been going on for a while you made the appropriate parties aware of how you feel and nothing has changed so what's next you don't have to blow up you don't have to put on no scene you ain't gotta do none of that. Cause I've I'm telling you, I've had a one-on-one -on -one conversation and I made it very clear. Very I don't I don't roll like that. That's that's I don't know where you <laughs> the oak I don't know. It don't say sock do it. This is sock shirt, but it's do it. It don't say sock. They didn't put sock on here. The old cliff side comes out then, cause it's Ew. just like Get your my diploma over there. Where you? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, huh? Um, <laughs> he's oh, oh. Mm. He said, "Like I can't overrule your husband. I can't. I can't. If he say do that, you got to do what he say. You got to respect that." Me on the other hand, oh, I was telling y'all this story. Maybe this will help you. I don't know. <laughs> But years and years and years and years ago, this young lady used to come to the church, and uh, my husband knew her from prior history. Let me say it like that. And what happens was, um, it goes, yeah, it goes to hugging. It comes to those little small conversations. Your problem, you already had a problem before you got to church because you're trying to speak, figure out how I can get you by yourself. Since you won't come see me by yourself, I'm going to try to get you by yourself at the church so I can have a conversation because I just want you to look at me. I just want you to put your attention. I just want you to put all that attention on me. You left something on the table that needs to go to the trash. Um, see, because that is how it goes. It, it does. It really does. Um, but this young lady started coming to, and she never joined. She just she just came to the church, and she started being a part of everything, like she was a member, but she never was. So I got to a point because it got really, really crazy. Like you was paying my our cell phone bill, um, my kids had stuff, didn't want for nothing. You you was trying to get close to one day at church. Yeah, he's gonna come. He put that. I was like, put a trash bag in there until <laughs> my until I went to my husband doing service and I said, I'm gonna tell her I need to talk to her. He said, he told me, he said, don't do that here. Don't do that here. Please don't do that here. And I said, out of respect for you, I won't do it here. So, but I had already went to her at the time and, and had told her, I ain't talked to you at the church. And my husband he told me, he said, don't do that here. So after service, I didn't approach. I stayed next to it. I stayed close. And so she came to the house. We had our conversation then. But I let you know where I stand with him. So if you have to take this, take this person to lunch, 
or whatever to get them away from the church. And you might have to, don't sugarcoat nothing. Make it raw as possible. Make it as, um, you can still be nice about it. When I say nice, no cussing, none of that. I'm not saying that's what you do, but I'm just saying that you don't have to give them that ugly. Don't give them that that whole, but you can you can be really upfront with them in a nice way and let them know. And I'm telling you, just sit down and have that conversation with them. Maybe they think you're playing. And I told you, you can you can kill people with kindness. Don't and and then if another thing, if they know that it bothers you, they're gonna continue to do it too. Oh, it bothers you that I talk to your husband. Oh, it bothers you that I came and gave him a hug. Oh, it bothers you that I had a little side conversation with him. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm just saying, you know, I see you. We, and I told my husband this, you know, we are some devious creatures. Women are, ooh, we can come up with some stuff. Like, and it, sometimes Miss Petty LaBelle got to come out. Every now and I'm not saying that, but <laughs> sometimes she got to come out. Um, I... On a serious side, I don't want your health to change or your um, you go into a mode to where it's hard for you to come out of because of this situation. Um, pray about it. Uh, give it to God. At the same time, don't let nobody walk all over you. Don't let nobody use you up or disrespect you because the disrespect is definitely there. It's definitely there. Um, and if it's already there, get it together and shut it down. And if it means that they have to leave, I'd rather have my sanity and my peace of mind than for you to continue to do this to me and think that it's okay. Don't ever let nobody know that they, they conquered something over you, especially when it comes to something that's already yours, that's all you already conquered from years ago, from a long time ago. Don't ever let nobody think that they got the best of you, especially when it's already mine. I don't have to compete with something that's already mine. Like, for what? For why? When people say for why. But that's the way I'm seeing it. Baby, got caught in here quick. They must turn the air down around this camp um, to make sure that, because um, that's my concern. Um, I don't want nobody, and, and like that's why I said I've seen that. I've been there. And, oh, excuse me. Once you have that, no audience is needed that one-on-one -on -one conversation even if it's over the, the phone i think you could say girl go sit down quit and they miss something so let me let me let's sit down and i want to talk to you one-on-one -on -one and have that conversation if you just need somebody to be there because you don't know how it's going to end up you can do that but i believe that attention needs to be that one-on-one -on -one conversation so it won't go any further or it won't um it can go start to cease um because if everything else you tried didn't work and i know the older crowd is saying don't don't say nothing and don't do nothing but that's not working and you still trying and i don't want to go to jail or, or nothing or be disrespectful to this church because you want to do this to me no mm -mm. no okay i'm gonna leave it alone <laughs> I'm going to leave it alone. But I've seen some stuff where women, they try so hard to get next to it. And this is before I became, I've seen it like, yes, from a lot of people. And I was like, do people really do that? And it's about power. I don't care if he don't have no money. I want that. And he got a title that's good next to his name. And I got to be a part of that. And they try to get in your family one way or another. They don't care if they get in there by your kids, by your great grands, by your sister them. I need to be a part of it so I can be around who I really trying to be around. Shut it down before it gets too far. And if it has gotten that far, you need to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with this person and get that straight because you don't want to lose you in the midst of this. It will all get... Can you turn that down? Um, but yeah, do yeah. That's that's just me. Um, don't disrespect your husband in the midst of it. Um, don't disrespect the church or God. Um, don't change who you are because of them. Um, but you can still let people know where you stand uh, with your life and how you want to move forward with with this situation um in the midst of all of that because it's not 
it's not worth your peace and your sanity. You the first, like, you shouldn't have to be worried when you busy, because folks, you be so busy, you get caught and be like, so y'all, you know, you just gone. And then you don't think I, and then I, so don't, don't do that because you're, you're, that's pulling you back from getting closer to God because you, of this situation. And it's hard. Hey, Brown, where you go? Yeah, it's hard. So as a first lady, um, uh, the, the, the disrespect, people will do that. They will try. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome. And I, you know, if you want to talk further, that's fine. We can. Um, or I pray that there's something that can help you. And, um, because, <laughs> ooh, I just, because I'm just thinking how, how devious we are. We, women are just so, and we don't care. We want to sing all the songs. We want to be in the fourth. We want to sign up for every auxiliary. We want to come to every meeting. We want to know where. We want to know his itinerary. Uh, -uh. no, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, you at work? Yeah, yeah. And the whole time you just like, if I do this, am I gonna disrespect my husband? If I do this, am I gonna disrespect this church? If I do this, how would that make me look? They gonna look at me different. Then we got to go in, and my husband's already doing. That's why I said, with my husband having that health scare that he had last year, the stuff he went through leading up to that, I'm not going to let it happen again. Not on purpose. I would not allow it to happen again on purpose because you don't. Um, you got to kill it. You got to kill it. You got to stop it before it gets to a point to where it's going to make you blood, uh, bust a head, a head gasket. And once you do that, it's kind of like, now I got to recover me. And if, and she, them, whoever. Oh, that's so. I told y'all she was great. Look at her. I don't know why he won't be married to someone. And now she don't, they don't down you because you don't blew up off of some foolishness they don't done. Stop it because you don't want, I'm telling you, don't lose you in the midst of this. Don't stop living your life or stop giving God um, the glory behind this. Keep doing what you would. But, but that's my, is to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation. Let me take your lunch. I need to talk to you. We need to have a conversation. He don't have to be there. Me and you need to talk. You can just have somebody in the cut just in case it, it don't go well. But at the same time, um, be very honest. And and don't I wouldn't su I wouldn't suggest telling them how it makes you like you have to, you know, give that honesty side. I don't do that. I don't allow people to get up under I don't like when you and I'm not gonna have it so the next time you do it I will have a committee come together and we're gonna discuss you with the four you gonna be there and we're gonna discuss this because I cannot allow this continue to happen because this is church this ain't no place for you to hook up and especially now with what I got already got look I got paperwork on him I ain't doing that <laughs> that last late night Yeah, we need to talk. <laughs> Listen. What in the... Listen. Let me... I get notifications, sorry. Yeah, you got some. Yeah, you got some. You got a. You got a situation. Situation like that ain't no. That's been happening for a while. Listen, wanna go? I wish. <clears throat> I'm from a different. See, that's why I said the Lord called him and he didn't call me. I'm still nice and sweet, and we can get it. But I, it's some things I just can't. I'm just not the person for it. Like, God didn't set me up for that kind of stuff. The, the, the test was definitely there. And that test, when it's there, it's kind of like, ooh, you strong. Like, it's like, it's like a tornado. Like, you strong. And then it's, it's, 
yeah, you got a situation, situation. Like, you just go. So, which means, ooh, see, I can't talk like that. I can't say it. I can't say it. I can't say it. Ooh, listen. Situation, situation. I'm with you. No, don't apologize. They, that ain't nothing. They, we all need to help you. <laughs> we all need to help you. Oh, you got me thinking. Your minds was not on that demeanor. And you got some. You got some time. You you got a tsunami. You got like a. Because mm. I'm, uh, yeah, okay. So Brown, you know, you know, when folks trying to get up under you, and you, you know. But now it's no to programs. Yeah, try lunch. See how that go. Start off low and see how that go with a one-on-one -on -one sit down lunch and see how they go. Might not go too well since you feel like it's okay to call me. What do you want? Cause everybody like everybody is sleep at one o'clock. Cause mom, you know what your mom used to say when you was growing up is <laughs> ain't nothing, uh, nothing open but Sam Eleven and legs. Listen. I mean, unless you at work, like Brown, I know you at work, but you at work, but those that are not, what are you calling? So you don't have some stuff that don't happen. I'm talking about this person. They don't have some stuff to happen and you, this has been okay to you. And you, this not your first time. Would you say not on her? <laughs> that's why I said, wait, wait, because that's kind of. We are some conniving people and we don't care how we get to what we want. I'm talking about women. We don't care how we get to what we want because, and I'm not just talking about this situation. I'm talking about when we want something, we ain't stopping until we get it. We're not going to stop. But for you to do that at 1 o'clock in the morning, what's your motive? You, you, it's not life or death. That sounds like obsession with, with you know, the movie. I'm gonna be the obsession. Yeah, that's that's really ridiculous because that's so disrespectful on so many levels. Yeah, and if I'm coming at 1 o'clock, yeah, okay, I'm on my way. I'll tell him, yeah, I'm on my way. You tell him, yeah, you're on your way. But we on our way. We come. And you open the door, you ain't got nothing on, or you got something little on. It's on schedule. Yeah, we need to. <laughs> Lynn, where you at? Where you go? I could be your mutual person. We can go and sit down and have a conversation. They don't know me. We could sit down and have a, a mutual conversation if, if need be, and say, hey, you know, because that's not that's not okay. And I know it's not. That's I say it's not your first time because you're comfortable enough to do it. Um, so it's not your first time. But, Listen, all that, we are devious. Like, you know I watch all them shows, Snap, Fatal Attraction, Killer Couples, all that. I watch all that. I watch all these docuseries and stuff. I watch all this stuff. How people are just... But us, for my man, us, okay. That's what I would do. Bye. When you start, flip that screen. 
Listen, okay, because then now I was trying to be nice, but the petty side of me finna come out. Flip that script. Oh, you finna, you about to kiss? Okay, we're gonna do it. My husband had to do that too. Okay, we're gonna do it. They still walk around. Yeah, that's not. That's not trying to sneak up on me. I don't like people to walk up behind me. So, yeah, that sounds really, really. This is not their first time, and they're comfortable enough to do it. And it's attention, and there might be a medical issue that's going on that they need to seek help from. Um, and it's probably you can. That might not even. You could say how you feel and how you want this to go. You know. But they probably need to see, seek medical attention. That that might be beyond what you can do, even though you may state that and have a conversation or whatever. It might be a, a medical issue that's going on. And because if you're just so comfortable with everything, everything is just so smooth and easy and I don't care about none of that, I, um, then yeah, you may have to, uh, there might be a medical condition that's going on um, exactly because that's what they're for like that's out of my pay grade there's I can't do, deal with that and I can't make your medical issues be my issues and his issues like he got a whole congregation to worry about yes and she's talking about it yeah yeah I will definitely flip that script. And if you said, I'm gonna call 911 and do all that, and they still doing that, um, we're gonna do it then. That's just me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cause petty, now petty, but, cause you won't stop. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's, that's, let me call, what's that term? Let me call term. And let them do it self He's like, oh, oh what, what floor is that apartment? That um, and let them talk to them people that make you hug yourself. Let her talk to them people that, that you know that jacket that make you hug. You be sitting up there trying to get right, get your yeah. Try lunch. I'm sorry. Try lunch. Cause when you said that one o'clock in the morning, I went somewhere else. Please forgive me. Try lunch though, for real. Try lunch. See if that works, and and go from there. Then you can assess. You can because you can you can probably find out background information if you don't already know how serious and deep something is and then maybe you need to anonymous, anonymously uh, find or call the medical people to assist if that does not work out but I pray that it does I pray this lunch is a couple but you probably can find out what the deep issues is and then hey it's oh see I didn't even know that the sixth floor is that parking okay I didn't know that thank you Brad I didn't never knew that <laughs> I knew they had a psych ward there. I just didn't know what floor it was on. But thanks for future references. But um, maybe you can, after, you know, when talking, having a conversation, maybe you can find out history on why they are the way that they are and maybe understand what they're going through further. And if that's the case, hey, I got a preacher friend of my husband's that, um, <laughs> I know I never knew that I got a preacher friend of my husband's that um, is single and he's looking for somebody and maybe you can flip that to find a single pastor or preacher because it sounds like that's what she wants to she wants to be a first lady she wants that power of a pastor um, so maybe find somebody that's looking a pastor friend of, uh, that's looking for a young lady to be that uh, brown there you go brown is a minister He's a good Reverend Doctor. That's point exactly. So we can find it because I got there go one on here. Brown is a is a single. You single? I'm, I just don't put your business. I don't even know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me, cousin. Forgive me. He our cousin too. So and he's also a member of our church too. So 
If not, I'm not, we, I know some single pastors or preachers, and maybe you can flip it because she sound like that's what she, but she can't get what's already taken though. You can't do that. <laughs> That's what I'm sorry. Don't look at me like that, bro. You might, you know, me. You haven't talked on that level in a while, so maybe you have found somebody. And I, I don't want to interrupt that, but I'm just saying there are eligible bachelor pastors or preachers that are single and looking for a first lady. Let's help her find one, but have a conversation and say, "Mine is not available, though." <laughs> But I'm, I got, and I already have some people in mind to say, hey, I can recommend you to a few pastors that are supposed to, that are looking for a first lady or they're single and they maybe want to date or whatever. Let me recommend them to you. I told my husband, don't dress. Don't dress her. That maybe that's what he that that's what she needs to do. We can we, let's let's find her somebody because something like to me that's a goal of hers and she's not gonna stop till she reached that goal. Whether it's good or bad, she's not gonna stop till she reached that goal. Because, but she can't go after somebody that's already oh taken. So there are pretty uh, plenty is what I meant to say. Plenty of um, pastors or first ladies that are, I mean, plenty of pastors that are single or uh, ministers that are going into being a pastor that are single and looking for a first lady. Um, matter of fact, I do know one. I know two so far. Um, but that may be something instead of going after somebody. I told my husband, don't dress up. Don't dress up. <laughs> yeah, it's something about that. Yeah, she, we need to find her somebody. We need to replace place them with with yeah so i would try the lunch yeah do the lunch first sit down and have a conversation and then just say hey if you want to be a first lady i can show you some things i got some friends my husband got some friends of his that are looking or i know some men that are looking that are pastors and they're looking for a first lady let me help you with that Flip it around, change that, let her know where you stand with your husband, but also help and say, in the meantime, I do have no son, and flip that whole situation around and assist her that way. Be nice. Be Show that kindness side. You don't have to get, step out of yourself to do that. I'm definitely going to pray for you because that's you got one. Oh, Jesus. Definitely going to pray for you. Because you hear me. I, I I said that. I was When I said, oh, we could be Patty LaBelle real quick. <laughs> But we don't have to do that because we're going we gonna to do lunch first. <laughs> Let's try lunch and then go from there. And if anything further needs to be, let me know how they go. I would love to know how they go. See how we can help each other. We can help each other and put this put this out there in that way. But um, I do still suggest to go look at the Fragrant Ladies um, uh, page, add their page, uh, like their page. And um, they have, like I said, they haven't went live in a while because they had to, they got changed buildings and stuff. But um go on th go on there and add them and look at all those videos uh stuff that's going to be very helpful and needed for you because it helped me i got up i was half sleeping and they come on at nine o'clock on saturdays i'll be half sleeping i'll just be like mm -hmm. i'm gonna i'm gonna listen to this because it's helpful we need it um and also i can um uh, i can i was ashamed <laughs> don't be ashamed don't be ashamed because we all need help Trust me, when you can't call somebody that you thought can help you and nobody ever, that's why I said I'm all right with talking about it or helping because uh, we all need help. It's not, don't be ashamed about that. Um, you help me because you had me, you got me back together. You said that's not, okay, let me go back to, let's try another way because that right there took me to a whole nother. One o'clock in the morning, I ain't over that yet, but. I'm going to get over it, but let's try lunch first. Let's do that. But yes, let's to the fragrant lady. Uh, I'm, uh, I can add you on or get them to add you on the first lady support group. And we can go from there because it is lonely as the first lady. It is lonely. Um, when you have your problems and issues, who do you turn to? <laughs> My sister said the same thing. <laughs> my sister said the same thing. She said, yes, dear, I'm on my way. I didn't abandon you, honey. I'm on my way. 
You need me? <laughs> you need me? I said, do you need me? Not, sir. Huh? So yeah, I would suggest that. Um, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. So if try that, let me know how that works. If anything else, let's do. You know, see what we can do to help out because I don't. Nobody should have to go through that. That's not fair to you or nobody else. So let's, as a whole, we're gonna we're gonna get through this. We're gonna work this out. Um, so whatever way I can assist with that any further, let me know. I definitely will. Um, and if not, I can get some some my first lady friends to assist with that. Cause like I said, as a whole, it's needed. We do need that support, that whole first ladies. Uh, somebody asked me, why do y'all need a first lady support group like that? You don't understand. You don't understand. Listen, when when you got your own problems and issues, who you talking to? Who can you go to? can't trust everybody with the stuff that you deal with as a first lady you can't do it trust me when you listen to those videos from the from their fragrant lady you're gonna be like wow i thought i was the only one you know or oh, i didn't know it was that deep and you know a lot of them they'll tell you because i have one first lady i know she's on here she's one of her facebook friends she told me they just about crucified her because of her fingernail polish at the church she went to they almost crucified her or because she came in church one day with some pants on, they almost crucified her in church. So, I'm saying crucified, but yeah. <laughs> and they don't, you don't want to be her. You don't want to be her, but you sit up there thinking, y'all about to make. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Listen. Listen. You right about that. You do not want to be. You see, but my husband, I know he wanted some of this tuna fish. I knew he wanted some of this. They don't make two or three sandwiches. You, so you, you might want to. <laughs> you don't deserve him. How is that that you don't deserve your husband and he's been your husband? He belongs to you anyway. Why would you not? What? Yeah, let me find you somebody you deserve because it's not. to get some get this this out because this 
that's gonna eat away at you. And I don't, again, I don't want your health to change behind that kind of stuff because somebody wanna. You think you finna? And I'm gonna. Okay. Okay. Try it all you want. Let's see how far you get with that. Um. Wow. That's something. That is something. Um. Yeah. Try that first. Cause I don't want to say and do more, and that's not what's necessary. But don't tell me what I don't deserve. <laughs> don't tell me what I don't deserve. Don't tell me. That. I'm somebody else now. Listen, yeah, we gonna find it. But it's not like the meeting. We are gonna try lunch first. We are gonna stick with that. Cause I was about to do that six flow situation. <laughs> Lady. Jesus on me like me what you want Oh Jesus on me like me what you want Oh you want God what you want <laughs> it's like you have to find you a song that's gonna take you through this situation because listen T, listen that's all Cause that right there. Hey, how are you guys? Say, where you go, Brown? Guys, say Happy New Year. Merry New Year. Listen, call him up and tell him what you want. <laughs> Listen, I get ready for church tomorrow. Oh, well, shut up and keep on talking. I just thought about something, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry. And that's why I just. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, we got to find. We got to find her someone. That right there is not okay. By under no means is that okay. We gonna have to let that. This guy said in the street that told me. Yeah, shut up, boy. I don't need to tell her, okay? You feel different. Yeah. How now I want either. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to get out of here because my iPad is five. Drop her. Yeah, she ain't gonna be here for long. You put some on your on your foot. Yeah. Yeah. She called 911, but yeah, that's why I said, yeah, because that might be above what you able to do. So you probably need to let try lunch, not just to go towards the mental situation. We don't want to do that, the petty, but now we're not going to do the. <laughs> oh, Jesus, help me. Okay. <laughs> I definitely will be praying for you um, and all that. Add you to the prayer list and keep you in my personal prayers as well. Um, what it's like to want to kill yourself. We talked about this. I share my testimony. Tell her to call me. I'm willing to listen and talk to her. Yeah, it's not her. It's somebody she know. But she see it. Oh, oh, you got to, oh, Jesus. And I, Brown, it's probably not really what it is, though. That's after a goal in life. It's not after what you really want to do. Oh, 
smell like eggs. It smell like eggs. I cut up eggs. Wow. Yeah, you got a whole little situation on your head. But Brian, I don't think it's really. I can't say it's not really because I don't know yeah. what, what I'm just saying. It sound like your goal is greater than what you're what you're what you're trying to do. What you say you're trying to do or what you're gonna do. Yeah, that's the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm first there too. My clothes I already laid out. Mine's not. I'm just saying. I'm just as ready as you. I'm here. Yeah, let's try to make you look bad. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's I, I suggest that. That's the way we can we gonna stay with Jesus. We gonna stay with Jesus and we gonna make it we gonna do let's start with that and then work we can we can cause that like I said, the lunch could bring it into a forefront of okay, that's why you acting like that. Now let me now your your brain is rotating just like, oh I know how I can fix this. I know how and God has already done showed you some some stuff on how you can fix the situation. He already done, done gave it to you. So while you working there and how you can fix it and still keep your, uh, you don't have to come out of character or change who you are. But yeah, please keep me posted. Keep me posted. Because, listen. Oh, Lord. My iPad on 4%, y'all. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Talk it out. Let's work through it. Let's get through it. Let's fix it. Um, And I wasn't going to come on here. I wasn't. I was going to watch my show. Listen, watch Saints and, and Sinners on uh, Hulu. That's my suggestion uh, show for today. <laughs> it's to watch Saints and Sinners on Hulu. I heard it's on Bounce TV, but to watch it from the beginning, because I didn't realize I was on Seekers and 2. That's how, that's how many I've been watching today, um, binge watching. But watch Saints and Sinners on Hulu. Yeah. Yeah, God knew because I wasn't going to come over. I was just going because I was already watching it as I was shampooing my hair and doing all this other stuff. I was already watching it. So I said, I'll watch it while I go in here and fix this tuna fish. Tuna fish don't take long to fix. Um, oh, you already watched it? Nobody told me about it to this young lady at work told me. She was like, I started watching this Saturday. Girl, I'm already on season four. What? You just started when she said, girl, I've been watching it because it's that good. So I started watching it Monday. And I'm in the middle. Am I in the middle of season two? I know I'm on season two. So, and it went by, and I'm just like, oh. So, I suggest watch it for those that have not to watch it. But um, I'm going to go, y'all, because my iPad going to go dead. It's at 3%, and I don't want to close out, uh, go dead before I close out. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Janira, I miss you. I miss you, Janira. I miss the kids, Janira. I would love to see you soon, Janira. Tomorrow will be great. I would love to see y'all. Miss y'all. We have leadership meeting today. Pastor took us all up. Oh, good. See, we haven't done that in a couple of years. Um, I need to talk to him about it. I was intending to ask him about it because we did that too. Um, dang. What? Yeah, we need to. <laughs> so you make. I'm trying to keep this together, but you're making me. Listen. No kids, no family, no life. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah. I will say this because I don't want this. I, I don't want my thing to, to go dead before we uh, end. But y'all know I will always invite y'all out. Um, y'all can post y'all church services on my page, on my God's Day page. It don't matter if you don't I already go and like. Who? Um, because you? I really want to. Uh, go to my God's Day page and like the page, share the page. Thank y'all again for those that have been following me and sharing and commenting and posting and all that good stuff. Um, I appreciate y'all. Y'all are the best. Y'all are the best, and I appreciate y'all um, supporting me with God's Day because it's been it's been tough. It's been a battle, but nothing is not tough. Don't mean it. It's not worth working for and doing. So I'm gonna keep going on. Um, and I love the conversations we had here tonight. Um, Y'all can share this video, like the video, post, comment. We can continue the conversation off here, whatever. It's fine by me. 
but I just want to um, let y'all know that. Um, again, I will invite y'all out for those that don't have a church home to go to. You are more than welcome to come to the New Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. The address is 2219 Lamont Avenue, Dallas, Texas, 75216. What a great, amazing, wonderful pastor is Bishop Dwight Collins. So please come on out. We start uh, Sunday school at 9.30 a.m. Sunday morning worship starts at 11 o'clock a.m. Please come out and be a part of We just have one service tomorrow. Please come be a, a part of Oh, I hate that you missed it. I'm getting ready to get off here because my iPad is about to, about to go dead. It's about to go dead. Hey, how are you? God's day. It's about to go dead. And I don't want to uh, miss because my charge is waiting in the other room. Um, but to invite y'all out to church, you're more than welcome to come. We start at 9. And, if you wouldn't talk to me. So, uh, Sunday morning worship, 11 o'clock a.m. Again, the address is 2219 Lamont Avenue, Dallas, Texas, 75216, where the great, amazing, wonderful pastor is Bishop Dwight Collins. Thanks again for following me, sharing, commenting, being a part of this great uh, God's Day. Everything about it, I'm glad that y'all are part of. The videos, the going helping me go live, discussions, all that kind of stuff. I really appreciate that. 2020 going to be even better. I got some stuff I'm working on for the... For the uh, um, this coming up year, um, need y'all to just support me uh, with that, and also I'm uh, continue to share all this information that goes on um, on there. If you go on there and like those other pages that are there, these are people, new people that I've come in contact with that I'm uh, supporting them by sharing their their business, their church services, their events. That's what I'm doing for for them. So support them as well and continue to do that. Um, like in uh, other people information y'all please go to somebody's church and think you're gonna close my mouth but but enough i'm with i'm with you I, <coughs> excuse me. I love god i pray favor over all first ladies thank you because i have i have a friend the first lady she said i'm packing i got you <laughs> We put everything out live and publicly because we want other people to share and use it and make it what you want it to be. Um, please, by all means, do that. Share this video, comment on it, whatever. I don't care. It don't bother me. Uh, everything we do, I make it public so that everybody can do it. Everybody's a part of God's Day, so that's why I make it out for God's Day for everybody. Um, okay, down to 2%. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to get off here. But I want y'all to have a great night. Please go to somebody's church tomorrow. Please uh, get closer to God. Watch your surroundings. Support people around you, uh, that you come in contact with. Support them. Um, but for the most part, definitely watch yourself. Um, going in and out the stores. Be careful. Even at church, you have to be careful now. You see what happened last week. Uh, um, watch your surroundings. Watch your children. Don't let them run off. Keep them close by you. They don't care if they come in the store or come into your house. Protect yourself. Protect your family. Watch your surroundings. If you got to hang up the phone and hold that conversation, put it on hold. Your life is more important than that conversation that you're having. And if you're on the phone with somebody, it's just to say, I'm on the phone. That way you can watch yourself. They're at Walmart. They're at Walgreens. They're at CVS. They're at the store. They're at the school. They don't care. They're on the school bus. Watch your surroundings. Have your children and your girls to watch themselves. Watch your sons too because they're taking them and taking their organs and all that. So watch yourself. Be protective of yourself. Watch yours. Um, nobody care about your life. You care. Okay? Do that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to go because my daughter is like, your phone finna die. It's my iPad. Oh, it's at 1%. So, I will talk to y'all later. I'm going to get on here. I'll come on here tomorrow and we can have a conversation and we'll do whatever. But remember, God loves you. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Y'all continue to have the rest, a great rest of y'all night, y'all God's night on God's day. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.